What's up, guys? We're in the Fresh Fit Podcast. After hours edition, we're joined by some lovely ladies. Um, obviously, it's not as packed as last night. So uh, thank God, man. Woo-hoo! Yeah, that was that was mayhem yesterday. We'll address it uh, right after the intro, guys. So let's get into it. All the night. If you want to get off, if you want to leave, you, you could, you're more than welcome. I asked you to stop with the question and you didn't. Do you get want out, me that's to leave? Serious, get the f- out. Put your shoes on outside. You don't got to put them on in here. I know the night is not how this I must believe in something so I'll make myself believe it. It's my thing. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Fresh Air Podcast After Hours Edition. Thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, You guys could be anywhere else in the world, but you're here with us. We're live streaming on Twitch, Facebook, Twitter, and um, YouTube, of course. Uh, So, guys, first and foremost, patreon.com slash fresh fit, where you guys can find all the crazy behind the scenes content, us kicking out annoying girls, two Frank Castles from yesterday, no, three Frank Castles from yesterday. From yesterday. Uh, And then also, you guys could check out, we have one weekly Zoom call where we talk about making money. Real estate investing, cryptocurrency, everything else like that. Credit scores. Um, credit scores. Uh, yeah, guys, we talk about all that stuff. As you guys know, uh, me and Fresh are both real estate investors. We go into detail on how we get our properties and everything else like that. Cash on cash returns, figuring out good deals, all that other stuff on our Patreon, patreon.com slash fresh fit. And we also talk about fitness, getting in shape. Uh, one weekly Zoom call where we go into detail and answer pretty much all your questions when it comes to self-improvement, guys. We are the number one male self-improvement podcast in, in the, the world. world right now. According to the numbers, we, we are almost at 20 million views, by the way. At only 400,000 subscribers, Sheesh. which is insane. I've compared us to other uh, podcasts in this space, and we're destroying everyone on views on YouTube, guys. So thank you so much for your support. Uh, men lie, women lie, numbers don't. Thank you guys for your support. <laughs> also, we're on Spotify, Google, and Apple Podcasts. Every single platform you listen to podcasts, we are on. Just make sure you wear headphones because you will get canceled or in trouble. You might get we fired. had a Lyft, a driver uh, that supports us listening to our podcast out loud, out loud with a driver and uh, with a passenger in the vehicle, and he actually reported him for sexism, which is hilarious. Uh, so guys, be tough. careful, man. Anytime you talk about the things that we talk about, controversial topics between men and women, they're going to get triggered, bro. And they're going to call you sexist and a bunch of other, you know, miscellaneous terms that try to make you feel uh, like you're inferior, you're a misogynist. But hey, all you're doing is pointing to facts, which is what we do on this podcast. Uh, we're not misogynistic. We're realistic. That's the difference. Okay. Get the merch, man. Pressurepodcast.com, guys, uh, where you guys can get all the merch. You guys can get the I Feel Like t-shirts. The For example, Punish Bad Behavior. Uh, Fresh Fit Podcast, hoodies, all that stuff is there. Support us over there and get the merch. Wear it. And if you guys want, when you wear the merch we are, and you wear it on Instagram, we're actually going to tag you uh, back. So tag us in it and we'll repost it with you wearing the merch. It's a good way to get exposure. Both of our Instagrams are growing right now. We, Well, actually, all three of our Instagrams. But we got hacked. Yeah. But we're back on Fresh Fit Podcast uh, on Instagram. So check us out there. That's where all the shirts are at, freshfitpodcast.com. Okay. Now, the most important thing, guys, for tonight. Yes. Subscribe. To our other YouTube channel, Fresh and Fit Clips. We're going to show you guys how to do it. Because some of you guys, quite frankly, are... Uh Uh-oh, retard alert. 100K. So we're 400 away from 100K, guys. You see right there. You guys put in the work. We're almost there. Help us get there by the end of the show. Guys, simple, easy to do. Go to the page. Click that subscribe button. Hit the bell too as well. Oh, he's like a Chris, man. Yeah. Subscribe. Yep. And then hit the bell, just like that, and get notified. Help us hit 100,000 subscribers, guys, because we're getting a lot of hate. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Um, and I'll talk about that here in a second, about all the hate that we're getting. I'll address last night's show because I know a lot of you guys probably have some unanswered questions that you want. Yep. But don't worry. Um, I'll answer it here in a second. But subscribe to our clip channel because the best way to overcome haters success, man. is success and yep. you don't mention them, okay? Because we're getting a lot of cloud chasers nowadays, so we're not even going to mention their name or give them any oxygen. Okay. Also, vlog channel. Guys, so behind the scenes, you get to see Myron. Uh, Trey, Chris, and myself you get to learn about us when we go on dates, travel, all the behind the scenes. Go to the uh, vlog channel, support it as well. Sub to that channel as well. There you go. Yeah, hit, hit the bell icon and hit the bell icon on there as well. Let's get and it. then also, guys, we're on Twitch, twitch.tv slash fresh and fit podcast. We're actually live streaming on Twitch right now, guys. Check us out over there because the quality is actually a lot better, way better quality. on Twitch than it is on YouTube. I hate to say that as a YouTuber, but it's the truth. Twitch was made for streaming. Um, so yeah, check us out there. Clone your, close your Pornhub tab and open up another tab, twitch.tv slash fresh and fit podcast. Also, Chris, 
They got follow me on, on Twitch, Aaron Poxon. Um, I just moved up to my new place. Uh, my Wi-Fi will be up this week, uh, internet, and I'll invite the girls onto the platform. So if you want to ask them uh, one-on-one questions here and there, uh, gaming reactions, uh, and any uh, questions you, you guys have to ask me, let me know. Sub, let's get it. By All right. Way. Chris then, has uh, a loft. Chris yeah, he has a pretty nice spot. He's not a block in the morning. He's finally not homeless anymore. <laughs> he's Brickle now. Hey, yeah, he Brickle loft. loft. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, guys. Also, uh, Trey, DM him, Trey Talk Sports. If you guys want to get um, any type of uh, ideas out there, you want us to react to it, yeah. we will put your Instagram in the description box if we react to your video. Thank you guys so much for sending in the content, but please DM Trey because we get a lot of DMs. If you guys want to DM reactions, Send it to Trey. If you guys want girls, Chris, you want to talk about that in a second? Yes, ladies. If you want to come onto our platform, make sure you send me a DM. Uh, your page is not privated. And if it is, send me some photos of yourself because I don't want any girls coming on. I'm like, oh, I wouldn't want to test me on me. Uh, maybe because you're missing an arm or two. And make sure if <laughs> if, if, if your husband, um, if, you, if you're married with a husband, fly down with them to Miami. Please, like, yeah. don't come here Bring solo. Bring your boyfriend or your fiance with you, bro. We don't want any type of weird oh you bang my chick like we don't want no drama bro we already deal with enough women and drama as it is we don't want and your guy getting mad and damning us like did you have sex with my wife any of this stupidity bro <laughs> so bring him with you he can sit in the studio and watch the show live yep and y'all can leave together because we don't want to deal with no problems okay nice. uh we got a business to run here and uh it is what it is um and then also on instagram guys we got a new instagram it's fresh fit podcast follow us on instagram because our account got hacked and we already got 3300 you guys in here so make sure to like the video like the video on your way in guys sub to the channel uh, real quick, because I know people are going to want to know about this. Yeah. Obviously, guys, some stupid... Uh, we had a discussion on uh, grape culture and a bunch of other things. I'm keeping it YouTube friendly, but you guys know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Uh, don't worry, guys. I was on the phone with Rolo Tomasi earlier. We're going to have him come next week, and we are going to discuss that in detail and debunk all the myths that were brought up yesterday. You know, one in five women on college campuses, a one in six. bunch of all feelings the, all, and yeah, emotions into the All the, the feminist topic. propaganda that they brainwash you with about us being in a grape culture, we're going to debunk it next week. So tune in with that. It'll be next Friday, um, as, as of right now, tentatively, with Rolo Tomasi. So uh, be tuned for that. It's going to be on the level of, um, excuse me, that episode we did where we talked about, you know, the failures of feminism. We're going to have all the studies in the description box. We're going to cite our sources and we're going to go off the empirical evidence, facts over feelings. So just wait for one week, guys, and we'll have it out there. So don't worry. Cool. Uh, I guess anything else? Crush? I think that's I pretty much it, man. Cool. Let's introduce good. the ladies. All right. So ladies, give us your name, your age, what you do for a living, and your current dating status. And we'll start right here. My name is Amanda. I'm 21. I'm a student pre-med track and I'm single. All right, shout out to you. Okay, I'm um, Baby V. Um, Baby V baby, in the building. The shout out to her. Is spelled with the I I E, not not the Y. So just uh, follow me, check out my shit. And honestly, <laughs> um, if shit was a bad word, let me not say that. Just follow me. You feel me? Censored everything. I threw you, girl. Right, have no gang. All right, bye. Okay. Okay. Her Instagram is below, guys. Um, welcome. Hi, my name is Dashima. I am the founder of the Flow State Institute. I'm probably older than everybody here. I'm 40 years old as of last week, and hey, I'm okay. single. Okay. All right. Welcome. Welcome to the show. Thank you. My name is Mariana. I'm 20 years old. Um, I'm currently a college student, and I'm a server at a restaurant at the moment. So, yeah. You said 21? 20. 20. Okay. Cool. Current dating status? So you chat niggas fly out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. My name is Adriana. I'm a bottle girl. I'm 22 years old. Cool. And I think that was it. Are you in a relationship? Single? Oh, I'm single. All right. Okay. Welcome. All right. Welcome to the show. Thanks. Cool. All right, super cool. chats real quick. So we'll hit the super chats real quick and we'll get into the questions. Let's okay, go. um, let's One see here. Let refresh it. And guys, thank you so much for the donations. Uh, we're gonna have to probably cap it at the ceiling here very quickly. Yeah. So uh Chris will call it. Um, okay, so we got um, let's see here. Ten dollars. Ricky Webster, much respect to all the fresh and fit family props, dude. Thank you so much, Ricky. Yep. Uh Poppy Blanco, ten dollars. On Saturday night, my IG was roasted by P Star saying my chain was fake while they have silicone hooters and fake zero <laughs> faces for a living. Also I'm six foot, not five seven, with a rotation of five. Much love to Fresh and Fit. Yeah, bro. bro. I mean, it, it's dude. You can't. Yeah. Yeah. That, I knew that. Like they were gonna talk shit, and I was like, yeah. Yo, real talk, bro. Don't take it personal, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. I probably woman smashed him either. And yeah. So, you know what I'm hold saying? up, hold on. <laughs> Shout out to Ricky, man, because he's been always on point. at first uh, donation of yeah, super Ricky, chats. Yeah, thank you, Ricky. So, yeah. throw the market for that nigga. Bro. Yeah. 
Yo, I gotta know. Is Ricky a robot, bro? This nigga's here every, every single day. day. Donated. Donated. First Slay. one. No. Yeah. That's I crazy. The support, man. Shout okay. Ricky. Jose B305. After last night's my <laughs> after last night, my hair is looking like Myron's. Hey man, I'm trying, bro. <laughs> uh I'm fine to fight for you guys. Uh Darth uh Perdicious. Uh hi Fresh Fit fam. My ex cheated and then told her dad, who was an ex-Marine and lawyer, that I was stalking her and he threatened a restraining order without any proof. All lies, believe all women just means hurt all men. Hey man, we're gonna talk about that in detail next week, guys. So don't worry. Uh Australian two dollars. Shout out to Australia all the way. Man, we got the continents checking in. Elliot Clements, uh, yo, love from Australia. Y'all doing God's work. Yeah, man, someone's got to say it, bro. Because most guys, if you speak up about these things, guys, you're going to get canceled. You're going to get called a misogynist. You're going to get called every single terrible word in the in dictionary. The yep. So we will make the argument for you guys. Don't worry. Done on that. Um, okay, girl in the orange swimsuit, fine as fuck. Okay, that's uh, Rafael Jimenez. Five dollars. Okay. Um, that's not what you're talking about. You. Swimsuit. This is not a swimsuit, but swimsuit. I appreciate it. I don't know what. Like, maybe <laughs> just say yes. You're the only one wearing orange, so I'm I, assuming a it's jumpsuit. You. Uh, it's a silk dress. Okay. We got just satisfaction with six dollars, seven dollars Canadian. Thank you so much. We got Canada in the house. Shout out to Canada. Canada. Got finesse two K by some thoughts today. I feel disgusted. What the? <laughs> what? Two K. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Two K and money or two K the game? Uh, Please tell me it was a game. No, I, he means money, bro. Bruh. Okay. I don't know 2K? what happened there, but uh, bro, put uh, F in the chat. Nah, guys. bro. Tell us. Tell us F what happened. In the chat. Bro. Yeah, go ahead and Tell let us know what happened, happened there. Bro. That's uh, okay, crazy. Louis Escobar, five dollars. Hey, fresh and fit, great show last night. My friend lost his job over false accusations. Very empowering to see you holding people to facts and truths. No grape zone, man. You know it is what it is. Yep. Icon, icon, two dollars. Don DeMarco for fresh and fit for the last episode, man. Thank you, dude. I appreciate it. That it was, was extremely wild, frustrating, bro. But like I said, I know a lot of you guys wanted me to kick them off the show. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to let them make their claims, say what they want to say, even they're going to if they're going to, you know, be make erroneous claims. It is what it is. You guys need to see it with your own two eyes, man. This yeah. is what it is. We got Caleb Lally all the way from New Zealand, 10 hours. You guys are showing men all around the world what type of women to avoid, especially the blonde feminazi with pretty privilege from last night. Big ups for it. Yeah, if you guys noticed, she made a bunch of comments about how men are trash or whatever. So <laughs> no one checks her on being a misandrist, but, you know, they're so quick to say, oh, you're uh, using facts to make your arguments? You're a misogynist. And it's like, okay, whatever. Chris, uh, King Chris, 20 hours. You guys support Fresh and Fit. Like, comment, then and subscribe. Sub to the Fresh and Fit Clips channel and Fresh Prince CEO vlog channel for behind-the-scenes raw footage. Get him 50K by December 21, 2021, and congrats on 400K. Thank you guys so Thank much you for the support. Hey, Chris, Thank you, brother. To you, man. Talk um, to you, brother. Black Wolf Inc., 10 hours. Myron, my brother, you did your thing yesterday. I can't believe how delusional and messed up most females are towards men, but that's why platforms like yours is growing by the thousands daily. Bro, yeah, we're, we're, we, get, we gained 100,000 subscribers the last month, man. Yeah. So clearly, <laughs> a lot of guys understand where we're coming from, and they, yo, we'll be the voice for you guys. Don't worry there about you it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, okay, let's see what else here. Um, we're almost and guys from this point forward, well, Chris, we're gonna go twenty and up, right? Yeah, twenty up. 20 okay, up. last night you guys had the internet ablaze. LOL. Keep moving forward though. Thank you so much, yeah, guys. That's a crazy one. Uh, Incorrigible Panda, Adriana, check your DMs after the show. Pack your bags, head to MIA, and get flued out. <laughs> hey, okay. I told you right. I Who's live Adriana? there. Uh, I live her. in MIA. Yeah. So uh, there you go. You got a guy. Check that's, your DMs. Uh, oh, she's he's talking about the airport. Bags. Head to MIA. He's saying oh, the he airport. Wants to fly you out to fly hang you out. out. That's what that's what he's saying. Thank she's you. like, she's like, you guys nah. see him yeah. for real about it, or he just talking. Okay, you got, yeah. Oh no, they're for real about it. Trust oh, no, me. Yeah. This serious. <laughs> we've, we've had girls get hooked up with millionaires off this show. Yep. Oh, okay, see, Joshua we'll Kimber, see. twenty dollars. Them broads last night. Y'all have too much patience. I don't think they'll ever get it. Y'all are trailblazers. Keep stacking your riches and keep Frank Castling these um, eaches. Okay, thank you so much. Eaches. Super chat, ten dollars. Uh, the three angry homeless feminazi from last night were a headache, and they were all seated together. The other side were the reasonable Latina women. Myron was doing his best. Fresh seems fatigued. Eh, it is what it is, guys. <laughs> Venom, uh, $20. I matched with the girl on Tinder. I gave her my number and told her to text me. She replied back with her number and told me to text her. Then I told her <laughs> she don't know how to follow directions and she unmatched me. Yo, <laughs> is it just me? But you mean a girl on a dating app, right? Yeah. You'll be like, yo, text me. It just sends her number. I'm like, why you send me your number? I said, text me. Yeah. I don't understand that. Is it like control? I I, I don't understand they that. They want you to text you so you, they can see it easier. No, nah, I don't some, think so. Some of them girls don't get notification from social media. You feel me? No, I think the reason that they do that is because like a woman wants to see that a guy makes initiative and they don't want to make the move first. I, I feel I, you. I guess. But That's for eh. the girls Damn. that don't got the Instagram notification off. For me, my Instagram notification is off. No. You got to talk no, into the mic. Unless I check my shit, I'm never going to see your, your shit. Yo, V. V, you got to talk into the mic. You, you have to be me? closer to it. So, like, for me, for me, for Instagram notification, you were never going to see that shit. 
you never gonna see that shit because I just hit your shit. Hold up. Like, okay. All right, we're gonna why, move that's on. That's why I don't. Hit, that's why I don't repeat myself because okay. every time I repeat myself, like I'm original. Like this Baby shit don't be ever. Okay. 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 All right. I got you. All right, I got we got you. you. Um, you don't get it's notified. way too early. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that's token E30 OG. Y'all we know. Ninety-three percent of workplace fatalities are men in comparison to seventy percent of women involved in workplace fatalities. Grape is bad, but men die. Yeah, it is what it is, man. Yeah, this is the truth, guys. Yeah, but no one cares to talk about. Uh, Spooky TC, New Zealand 10 hours. Matt Truth are fresh and fit from New Zealand. Thank you so Shout much, you, guys. Brother. Wow. Uh, Regizil, uh, $5. Yo, Myra, whenever you say, okay, okay, got me dying every time, did you come up with that or did you get it from somewhere? No, I get it from uh, the DJs, bro. Okay, I'm reloaded. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. Dr. Easy 20 hours. Remember the opinions of P-Stars and people with low values are relevant to you. Just remember, never take the roast too seriously. Anyway, have a good night. Fresh and fit, fam. Thank you so much. There you go. And then we got uh, DJ RP. Sup, gents. Uh, sup, guys. Great show last night and Self Castle last night. Get your caps ready and KO cams ready. Uh, these three or four cap levels are over nine thousand. Okay, uh, five dollars from our boy salsa dude. Uh, Asian chick is faded. Uh, well, hopefully she sobers up in the middle of the show. Wait, but uh, like, I still hear you though. Like you talking about me, and like, I was good. <laughs> okay. Right. Uh, one, two, three, ten dollars. I'm glad you didn't let up you on that. You still don't know my talk. name. You ba- talking about Asian girl? Like I'm baby. Baby V. Baby V. Baby v. Uh, that's the guy that uh, was saying they commented that. Commented it. Salsa dude. Yeah. Yeah. He commented. Anyway, one, two, and three, ten dollars. I'm glad you didn't let up on that grape talk yesterday, Myron. You pounded it home. Yeah, no, man. I'm not going to let them come on here and say a bunch of false claims about how we live in a grape culture. But don't worry, guys. Hold it till next week. Me and Rolo Tomas are going to do a full show on this. With, uh, on, on Well, all of us are going to do a full show on it next week. Okay, I'm glad. Uh, let's see here. Thank you, Fresh and Fit. I tried deleting myself in younger years due to all past relationships, cheating, and being horrible people. Channel validated my views now. Women are terrible and need to prove their worth happier now. Guys, yeah. we're here to help you guys from putting yeah. guns in your mouth. All right. Yeah, for real. All right, let's um, start on the show. Let's okay, yeah, let's get started, guys. Thank you so much for the support. We're gonna. We already got almost six thousand live viewers, so we're gonna start with the first question. We'll read the rest of super chats from this point forward. It's twenty and up, guys. Thank you so much. All your super chats will be shown at the bottom, and uh, yo, the love is crazy, guys. You guys are the reason why I, I do this shit, even though I'm losing my hair. So uh, <laughs> let's uh, <laughs> let's uh, go ahead, fresh. Okay, so ladies, you've all had probably had relationships, right? Here on the panel, why did your last relationship end, and was it your fault or his fault? We'll start here. Um, so this was like a young relationship, even though I'm still young. But I felt like that person's happiness was dependent on me mm-hmm. and our relationship. And if you don't feel happy within yourself, then it makes it puts a lot of pressure on me. So I wanted you to be a hundred percent, and then when we get together, it's like two hundred percent. So what actually made it? Uh, and I would say he was depressed. Depressed. He wasn't happy, and then he he felt like you know he was finally above water when we were together. So, so okay, so but what was the moment where it was like, damn, like this is over now? Um, he wasn't excited about anything except like anything we had planned together. Mm. Whereas, like I had things that I was excited for and I was looking forward to that were not including him, okay. which I think is how it should be. Yeah. And did you do anything wrong at all? I'm sure that I did, but I think when you're not like mentally healthy, then it doesn't really matter what that other, if that other person could be perfect. And mm-hmm. if you're not mentally healthy, then it's not going to work out. Can you name one thing that you did wrong? Um, I could have been more supportive, but I was, I was so young that it was like a lot of pressure to deal with somebody that needed like professional help, I think. Okay. Interesting. All right, cool. And you initiated the breakup, I'm assuming? Yes. So in other words, his happiness stemmed from hanging out with you. In other words, he was the focus of your life. No, sorry, uh, you were the focus of his life, I'm sorry. Yes. Okay, and that turned you off. Yes. Fair enough. Okay. Baby V, what about you? Um, I feel like my relationship, like, for my first relationship, I feel like I've been in a relationship that... I shouldn't have been in a relationship because I was still a kid. Please talk into the mic. Okay, I gotcha. So I feel like my first relationship, I've been in a relationship that I shouldn't have been in a relationship because I wasn't ready. But you know, when you like little and shit, like, am I supposed to? If Trey you know, comes when you, set, when you, know, you, when you know. little and stuff, you know, like you think you know everything, but like really, you don't. You think like, oh, like I met this you, guy Trey. and I love him so much. I'm finna be with him forever. But then like, boom, 
Like, no, like, this is not the person for you. It's okay. It's okay. I want to tell you, ladies, it's okay to fall in love because I've been in the position that, like, I felt like it was not okay to be to fall in love because I felt like everybody, like, had Merch. something for me. You feel me? Like, I, I feel felt you. like... Right. I felt like for me to in- involve my feeling, that was my way, way, my weakness. Right. And for me to be able to get over that, I, I want to tell every woman, every girl out there, yo, like, it's okay to be vulnerable. Just just stay on top of your stuff. You feel me? I, I feel appreciate you. your yeah. Yeah. I, feel you. I, I appreciate I feel your you. message to the women. <laughs> but but the question was, um, what did you do wrong in the last relationship okay. and why did it end? What did that I was do the question. wrong in my relationship? Yes. Honestly, what I did wrong. What did he do wrong, and what did you do wrong? Okay, what did I do wrong in my relationship? I guess, you gotta think about this. You know? Okay, what did he do wrong then? <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, honestly, I feel like from the beginning, Merch. you guys not supposed to meant to be with each other, and like you guys like stick with each other because. But that's we're talking what... about your relationship. Like, what did what did? I know. Yeah. So. so why did it end? Like, what did he do wrong? And then what did you do wrong? Because everything happens for a reason. Like, people come in your life to teach you a lesson. And people, and, and once they leave your life to teach you that reason, you move on and, like, better from the, you feel me? I feel you. All right, next. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right, okay on. Question not addressed. No, yeah, the no it's, it's, not cool. answered, it's, but okay. it's, it's way too early. Let's go. No, yeah. Okay. Right. So you're more experienced. Tell us, uh, I guess... Your last one, how did it go, and who did what to make it end? Yeah, I had a lot of relationships. My last relationship was really interesting because he was uh, a lot younger than me. And a couple of things that were the big problem, I think. Number one, he was much younger. So okay. he had been an actor, and he was uh, used to be a, like a fitness model. And so he used to take steroids. And um, most guys don't realize how bad that is for your testosterone when you finally get off of that. Like he had all these hormonal issues. And so he was going through it was like two years after steroids, but he was going through all this like hormonal issues. And so he had like really no sex drive, which is weird because I'm like, I have like a really strong sex drive. So it just felt like problematic because I wanted sex a lot and he hardly did. And I was like, mm-hmm. you're supposed to be, I mean, in your twenties, you should be like at the prime, you know, and he was like at nothing. So that was problematic to me. But then um, a couple of other things, but it was, it was really like an energy issue. And I, and I think a lot of it had to do with this hormonal issue, but it was like, I have like an extremely a lot of energy and his was like, he was going through energy issues and we were just not matching on that. And then okay. obviously like just where we were in life was a problem, but I think that could have been better if the energy thing would have been more of a match. So, okay. That was it. Huh? Okay. Yeah. No, um, <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's, that's uh, valid. I mean, uh, uh, guys, if you for you guys that don't know, I did an episode on, uh, we have a fitness playlist on this channel for you. Some of you guys that don't know. And I talk about the dangers of using performance enhancing drugs and uh, how um, using steroids can negatively impact you long term or for life uh, because you're not going to be able to produce testosterone naturally anymore when you start to get on TRT. That's why I always tell guys like, hey, man, literally squeeze out every single last drop and train naturally as long as you can before you go into the dark side, because once you go to the dark side, it's very difficult to come back. Mm -hmm. So um, I I see where you're coming from with that. Um, And then what did you do wrong? I guess Uh, (laughs) he didn't have energy for you. Well, Uh, He felt that I had because his and what happens is because I'm a health expert as well, is that Um, When your testosterone is really low, then your estrogen and your feminine hormones start like actually kicking in. And so he was more on the feminine side. And by virtue of whatever that imbalance was, I felt really masculine to him Mm. because I was more of the dominant energy, like asking for sex or I was the one driving even. I was just being more of a dominant energy. (laughs) So it was weird. The, the The energy was reversed, male, female energetically on the hormonal level. And that was causing. So I, I guess one of the things that I did wrong was I was being more in the masculine role. Like I would drive, I, I would pick him up. Uh, please let her finish. I, I would be the one picking like him married. up. I would kind of be the initiator in so many ways because he wasn't. And I was trying to like make him, you know, somehow be that way, but it, it doesn't ever work. So you can never like kind of compensate for somebody's lack of uh, masculine energy. You just have to like find a new guy. And that's what I learned. But I guess that's what you could say I did wrong was that I, I, I saw the red flag in the beginning and I tried to keep making it work even though I shouldn't have. That was what I think I did wrong. 
Okay. Okay. Um, so I'll, I'll ask uh, just one follow-up question. When you were in your masculine, did you feel like kind of uncomfortable? Was it like unnatural that you had to like kind of take a more dominant Yeah. Role? And then what would happen was, for example, he'd be like, come pick me up. And I'd be like, take Uber, dude. Like, come on. You know? And then it, like he, I was in LA. He lived in Hollywood and I was okay. literally in yeah. like Santa Monica. So it was like an hour. Yeah. It's far. And he'd be like, pick me up. And I'd be like, at first I'd be like, okay, I'll pick you up. And then I was like, hell no. And then I'd be like, no, I'm not doing it. And then he'd be like, you need to be a person of your word. And I was like, actually, I just thought thought about it for a little bit and realized I am not your chauffeur. Well, I don't even know why I said yes to begin with. That was the mistake I made. Yeah. But like, why was I even saying yes? But anyway, it was this kind of like conflict over like um, kind of uh, keeping your word. But it was really just me being in my heart center and realizing, no, you need to just be a man. So you broke up with him. Yeah, I broke up with him. Okay. Like, yeah, uh, we kind of kept, kept trying to make it work because we loved each other, but it was just like obvious. And also, when somebody's much younger, I'm sure you guys understand, like, being in your 20s, you're still developing as a man. Mm -hmm. And, and like, he was making his career and, and things like that. And he was like, I can't give you what you deserve. Like, he knew that I deserved a lot more than he was able to give me. Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, minimally, sex is all I really need. Like, and you can't give me that <laughs> even. So, like, it's <laughs> going nowhere. But, like, I don't need mansions and yachts. I could have had that with many guys and I didn't. I didn't need that. It's not that what I was needing, but um, minimally, you gotta at least have sex. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, there you go. Okay. Um, yeah, and guys, for guys out there, man, like, listen, I'm not gonna sit here and knock guys that decide to want to use performance enhancing drugs. But what I will say is, it's always best to train naturally as long as you can, guys, and try to avoid it if you can, man. Unless you're like trying to compete and get a trophy and become or become an IFBB pro, it's really not worth it, guys, for the long term health uh, detriments, you know. Uh, and if you are gonna do it, do it under the care of a doctor. You know what I'm saying? So. But I suggest you train naturally as long as you can, unless you're trying to be a competitive bodybuilder and get a pro card. And also, uh, stop jerking off, man, because that kills your, your sex drive as well. Yeah. And if you can't right. smash your girl, bro, she can go to somewhere else. And trust me when I say, she's coming to us. Yeah. So there yeah. you go, man. That's Thank true. You. Um, okay, what about you? So I offer, I guess, a really opposite perspective from what she just offered. Um, I'm pretty young, so I really don't have that much experience in like serious relationships to give you guys um content about but the last relationship i was kind of in was more of a situationship i guess you okay. call it <laughs> <laughs> okay over the course of a, we've heard that many times so don't yeah, worry the past year that was pretty much the only guy that i was involved with um but that ended recently um for various reasons you broke up with him i'm assuming um no i always gave him my all you know, in the whole year we were talking, I would say. So what happened? Well, someone guess, had to initiate the breakup. Who, who was it? Was it you or him? It was for sure him. Oh, oh, that's yeah. rare. He's like 22, so he's pretty young too. Um, okay. And he's really, you know, focused on making money. And that's even more rare when it's a young guy that initiates. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and you must he, have fucked up. <laughs> not even. I tried. Like, you tried what? I'm just... <laughs> I mean, I would consider myself like an ideal girl i mean obviously everyone has different types but so what's that i'm focused on like i'm in school you know i'm focused on myself mm. and i'm not really i don't sleep around with guys mm -hmm. um i was a late bloomer really like i didn't really mess around with guys until after i graduated high school okay and when i get involved with a guy i you know i care about the guy and i don't just get involved with anyone is my thing so what do you think you did wrong and what did he do wrong so if you guys ever read the book why men love bitches <laughs> i haven't but i heard about it really good book i read it after the fact but um i pretty much acted i guess the opposite way i just i think what i did wrong really was that i gave it my all from the get-go <laughs> and um i was willing to do anything for him and you know, I was really to be that ride or die bitch no matter what okay. because I really liked him and I clicked with him and I don't click with a lot of people, you know. And so when I find someone I click with, I, I tend to, you know, attach myself, which is where I, you know, fuck up um, because men don't like bitches that attach themselves. <laughs> well, I would say just to correct you, the right man will. Yeah, when, exactly. But, you know, uh, unfortunately, I think you chose the wrong guy because yeah. he wasn't ready for you at that point in time. Exactly. He's young. He's doing his thing. So. He's young. He's very focused on making money and he's yeah. very successful and I'm super happy for him. So but... what did he do wrong? Um, He just didn't appreciate what he had. OK, I guess. I mean, my, my question is this. So uh, you said earlier, uh, well, I bring a lot to the relationship. I, you know, I focus on myself. I go to school, everything else like that. Um, That doesn't really benefit him, though. 
Of course. You know, with all due respect. So my question is, what did you do that that made you, I guess, uh, uh, obsessive in your words or that you were like... I wasn't obsessive. You were I saying was, you gave too much, right? Definitely. I, you were I too was attached? Not obsessive. I was attached um, emotionally okay. to him. Okay. Um, but I think what I did wrong was that what? I was just... I just expected too much from him from the get go. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it like dragged on over the course of a year that I was just like, I think that I deserve better at the end of the day. Like, I think. But what what were what were you doing that made you believe that you deserved better? Because I was just being so loyal to him from the get go. You know, I was being so loyal and I was there. For How so? Him. Not talking to other men? No, I did not talk wouldn't, to other men. I did not have sex with other men. Wouldn't it be arguable that that should come to the table regardless and as default? But if that doesn't come to the table, regardless from the men's, um, um, you know, side perspective, why would it come like immediately from my side? Because like, why should women, they expect that? Because men and women show loyalty extremely differently. So a man um, has the right to be unloyal while we're expected to be loyal from the get go. Well, it dep like I said before, loyalty has two different. It has a different definition for men versus for women. What is that? Well, for women, typically loyalty is uh, not having sex with other men, you know, uh, having exclusive rights to your body versus okay. uh, with a man. It's exclusive rights to his emotional uh, attention, uh, being willing to fight and protect you, provide for you, that type of thing. Men and women show loyalty very differently. What? I yeah, mean, I know that sounds like a foreign concept, but that's very for true. For me, yep. if I'm going to be in a relationship with a guy, I really can't, you know, sit right with, with the thought of him, like, sleeping with other women. Hey, that's yo, so yo, yo. Yo, Yo you're, you're, you're done, bro. You're done. Kick her off. No, like, what the fuck? Nah, you're done, bro. You're done. Who, like, who, like, what? Like, this chick is crazy, bro. All right, yeah, you out, man. Oh, God. All right. Fresh, you continue the show. Oh, man. We'll remove her. Okay. Right. So. Okay, yeah, so we're gonna continue. One thing, no, thing that you did wrong, he did wrong in your last relationship. Like, honestly, why y'all hyping that shit up? Like, that shit's super fucking normal. I don't know why y'all hyping that shit up. Pompano, shout to Pompano. Chris. Pompano, Opalaka. <laughs> okay, so one thing one thing you did is wrong. I think one did I know everything. Wait, hold on. You know what? Let's just okay, let's oh, yeah, yeah. commentate let's on this. Let this play out. So first thoughts on first thought, what she was saying. I, I was like, yo, you're funny as hell, because like one, you sound like a baby. And two, I don't know what you're saying. But she's pretty funny. But um yeah, I don't know what's going on right now. Guys, I, just want to check. I think she's phones, just right? really tired and yeah. Yeah, she's tired, yeah. That's my phone, yeah. Sure Mine's in there. Yeah, I see it. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. What are your thoughts so far? <laughs> yeah. She's just no, blessed. I think she was on something. I think, yeah, I think she's drunk. Which sometimes. which isn't a bad no, thing. But just like you're on a podcast, so it's like <laughs> You know what I'm saying? People, maybe she was nervous. Okay, yeah. to... Oh, she needs her shoes. Oh, she ain't playing with it. Yo, real talk, man. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I saw this coming a mile away. Really? The whole, yeah. She was like, I'm like I yeah, wasn't even paying gone. attention. She's gone. I recorded the whole thing. You, you saw me recording? I was like, I yeah. Now I was like zooming into her, like, oh, it's a, it's a rap, it's a rap. Yeah. So she was nodding, <laughs> she was nodding out. But yeah. In, 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 in the meantime, let me actually just uh. One sec. One sec. I feel like I've gotten cheated on with every man in my life. Really? Really? Yeah. That's unfortunate. Aww. That's why I don't. Really so like, uh, I never gave them the opportunity. Well, let's, let's continue. You have a lot, quick, so. a lot ahead of you that is not going to. Yeah. <laughs> so your last relationship, one thing that you did wrong, one thing that he did wrong. I think I'm such a caring person. Mm -hmm. Like when I get to know someone, I I understand that I fall so hard. I feel like women fall so emotionally hard first. And guys, don't give a F until, you know. It's too late. It's too late. Exactly. So mm -hmm. I feel like I gave it my all. I was 18. I was young. I, li I moved to Miami and he still lived not here. He he lived in Orlando, so we were doing long distance. That's already a red flag in life. That like long really distance does not work. You don't know what he does. He doesn't know what I do. Mm -hmm. So it was just already 
a situation ship. <laughs> so I feel like merch. I was too caring. Merch. I didn't trust him. Merch. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. So it was just difficult. Long distance. It was yeah. difficult. That's yeah, that's true. never easy to do. Uh, long distance. That's like a, a dub right there. Yeah. Okay, cool. So uh, I think Myron's helping her to the uh, elevator. Goodness. Yeah, guys, she was lit, man. I don't know what she was on, man, but she came in here. If you see the vlog earlier, uh, when, when, when it posted tomorrow, she was crazy, man. Like, uh, shout out to her, though. She's a cool girl, but I just think she's on something, and that kind of sucks. But, yeah. Okay, so uh, we got a video reaction we, we need to play. But yeah, sure. Before we uh, do that, yeah, um, what tomorrow uh, does with Guys, she, real she, quick, she, she quick commercial break. Uh, go to Clips. Hoop Chats. Clips channel. Oh, Super Chats. Okay, cool. <clears throat> yep, there you go. You got Zeke's movies, 20 bucks. Thank you for fresh and fit. I tried deleting myself. No, I think we did that one already. Right, let's see. Yeah, but right here. Yeah, so uh, I have a temper, 20 bucks. Bro, last night's show proved how many women don't have intellectual fortitude to comprehend the difference between winning an argument with emotions, losing the debate against facts. Shout out to FNF. Thank you, brother. Um, cool dude, 25 bucks. You're welcome, bro. Huh? Nah, I just. Taking out the trash, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh, oh my God. Bro, I don't know Jesus. what was wrong with her, bro, but she was on something, bro. Yeah, I don't know what the hell. Like, dude, she was excited at first, going yeah, crazy. I don't know. It, it was like I came up from the I came up from the gym. I she was talkative and happy and stuff. And then all of a sudden, like, I don't know what man. she's on a high and then low she right probably, here. She probably popped the Molly before the show or something. No. I don't know what's wrong Woo! with her, bro. Molly would not do that. <laughs> huh? She's you probably on like a, a percocet or something. How how would God. you know? <laughs> I'm aware of you. She's seen, she's right, seen okay. people. Yeah. Cool, dude. Okay. Can you get an average guy on air? It will really help the woman understand men. I sent it on your Instagram. Great show, guys. Fresh, my neighbor, your brother from New York. Myron, shout out to you, too. Okay. Okay. Name changer, seven, 50 bucks. Lots of young ladies in the house. Can any of you imagine being 35 with three kids, career, and then taking having to take a man's full sex drive? <laughs> Anyone I believe can't. another woman needs to be involved? Myron, S about an int interesting video on this before. A show, I think you I meant think. to say show, show yeah. All right, Mark. Mostly money TV. Shout out for Cali, Colombia. Keep up the good work. Uh, that's uh, 20,000 Colombian. Um, Thank you, brother. I think, uh, what, dineros? Yeah. <laughs> okay, Xavier Foster, $20. The girls last night did not understand what zero interest in sex while dating meant. They talked as if they were still giving their date a chance at it. Got to make this crystal clear. Eh, it is what it is. 20 bucks, uh, Thunderstorm 87. Ladies, you will date a man long term or marry him if he's had a vasectomy before you met him. Why or why not? <laughs> Um, congrats to 400k. Shout out to Fresh for dope call earlier. That's from heart to mind. Oh yeah, real talk. Quick shout out to him, man. He's starting a podcast for uh, self improvement for men. Uh -huh. uh, he got inspired by Fresh and Fit. So shout out to him, man. Heart to mind. Okay. Um, uh, M Waltz uh, four six nine uh, Canadian twenty eight dollars. Every time Myron adds a cap, he ascends a level of Super Saiyan, and his <laughs> facts become stronger until he reaches Middle Eastern Myron, which is Super Saiyan Blue, and the cycle repeats <laughs> as many times to defeat the Saba Karens. Hey, it is what it is. Alvin Tilton, uh, thanks for the knowledge, guys. Myron, I've lost 25 pounds thanks to your fitness uh, playlist. Grind is over 9,000. Also, cheek sister in the house. Eh, you know what happens. Uh, just kick her out now from Rob. $50. Yep. <laughs> well, we're, we're ahead of you, my friend. There you go. Uh, $20. Ariel Mendoza, Frank Castle, the girl in the camo. She's definitely going to make this She's <laughs> make this interesting. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they, were, they were like Frank Castle, Chung Lee. Yeah. <laughs> Chung Lee. Chung Lee. <laughs> <laughs> Will Royal, love you guys. Thanks for keeping it 100. You guys and the rest of the Manosphere have let me know I wasn't tripping all these years. Thank you. Sure idea. Well, at least I'm honest. Female self pat on the back. Excuse for bad behavior. You are fake news. Thank you very much. Uh, Devante Casco, appreciate y'all fresh and fit. Thanks for uh, getting me my purpose and getting my game up. By the way, I'm a new member in Patreon. Thank Shout you so to much, you, man. Which, by the way, guys, that video will be on Patreon of that kick out right there. Uh, as guys, you guys know, we have a picture on the house. Oh, yeah, actually, yeah, we got two guys from uh, Patreon here in the house, too, as well. Hey, shout out to you guys, man. Shout they're our top-level members in Patreon. They, they definitely uh, support us, so shout out to them. Yep, and they're and, here uh, watching the show live, guys. So go. if you want to come and watch the show live, man, join in the highest-tier Patreon. And, uh, yeah, you get all the perks besides that. 20 bucks from DDOT. Uh, the Asian chick sounds like a Civic running uh, on two cylinders. Frank Castle <laughs> is in the house tonight. Keep up <laughs> the good uh, work, That's fellas. funny, bro. Yeah. That's funny. Uh, Nifly81. Every time Baby V comes, I'm just going to mute the channel. Yep, yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> She ain't coming back. Don't worry, bro. Bro, what the fuck she talking about? Her voice is annoying. AF, Frank Castle alert. Yeah, it is what it is. We try to give her a chance, bro. Like, yeah. you know, we really try. I've been working on my anger, guys. And, uh, you know, I'm trying to be more patient. And, yeah, it is what it is. Placebo, 20 hours. I'd probably understand her better if she was actually speaking Chinese. <laughs> wow. Y'all oh niggas like tweaking, bro. Ruthless, bro. Uh, blast cap badger. Ask them if given the option, 
would they wear dresses, including the breathable fabric dresses for hot weather? Yes, they exist. Or something that has some sexual expression to it. What? I don't understand. Uh, what do you mean expression? if given the option? Guys, if you got requests for questions, please make it aligned with the topic, man. I don't want you guys to send in donations that, you know, we can't act on. So if it just please ask questions based on the topic. Okay, guys? That Like, that's totally left field, man. Blast cat and badger. Uh, thank you for the donation, though. I appreciate it. Joshua Demensity, hey, Fresh to Fit, here's a new t-shirt idea to consider. A girl with a goldfish in her brain asking, what was the question again? <laughs> While looking confused. All right, we're going to go back to the questioning, bro, because uh, um, we still got to run th run the show. Yeah. Uh, Chris, we're probably going to have to up it, right? Yep. 50 and up. 50 and up, guys, from this point forward. I'll read the rest of the chats after we finish the qu uh, the questions here. So we were on the discussion of loyalty. Did you guys get past that before yeah. we had to remove? Yeah, we had to yeah. Oh, everybody got okay. Next question, and then I'll read the rest of the chats at twenty, and then from that point, Chris, make a quick mental note, real fast. Yep, got you. And then we'll get to the next question. Go ahead. Cool. All right. So, ladies, what do you want to get from dating? You would say, do you want marriage? Do you want kids? Do you want a husband? Like, what do you really want when it comes to dating in this current market? And we'll start here. Hmm. I don't want kids ever. <laughs> um, <laughs> to make that clear. Um. I just want in life, not right now, but like eventually when, cause I'm only 22, mm. but eventually a guy who knows how to fix a hole in the wall, knows how to change a tire, knows how to fix the roof, like a man, you know, like nowadays I feel like there's like pretty boys. I want a man in life and I don't want kids. So it's kind of hard to find guys who don't really like, like want kids. Mm -hmm. I don't ever want kids. I just want a dog. And I just want to. How old are you? Do I do? I feel like that will not change. I don't want kids. I mean, okay, I'm curious. What made you make that that choice? You don't want kids. Um, it's it's fine. But I'm just curious. Like, what made I you make? I feel that like choice? I just merch. Merch. <laughs> shirts. Yeah, we have a shirt that says I feel like shirts and stars, guys. Oh, <laughs> mind you, why not? <laughs> Go ahead. It's one body image to pain. Are you kidding me? Like that, a fucking kid coming out of your vagina, and then mm. it's like I'm honestly kind of selfish. Like I don't feel like providing for a kid like you, i i want to focus just on myself me you, you care about your life basically. pretty much i'm selfish i'm gonna admit that probably. okay i okay. just don't want a kid um a lot of younger women say that in the beginning mm -hmm. but they change their mind I, as they get older i promise you i've said that like forever but you're, since middle school i know i'm you're 22. 22 right now. i understand but like i don't think my opinion's gonna change <laughs> Okay. I funny. don't like pain. I can't even take shots. I can't even take like pills. Like I just I wait. Don't so like are you on birth control right now? No. So <laughs> let's say you meet a guy and things happen. Look, I'm just saying, right? Because my sister said the same thing. She's like, I don't want kids. I don't want marriage. But she's married with a kid. I'm saying it might change in the future. When, because when she got older, her her thoughts change. Her mindset change. It just it just changes. You know. Yeah, I'm not your sister. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm not saying you are. I'm just saying in, in general. Yeah. I, I, I mean, think I, I think uh, the the main thing is is that um what we've found is that a big predicator on a woman's happiness typically not all the time you might be the exception to the rule but what we've found on seen on a balance of probabilities is that a large predicator on a woman's fulfillment and happiness is derived from children in a family mm -hmm. is what we're trying to say i like dogs and if my husband will like dogs too guys, I'll be pet food, guys pet food get it but here's the thing though you got to understand <laughs> um if you get married and you get a husband most guys in today's climate they don't they don't, they're not going to want to get married if they can't have children okay i might want to do a surrogate i could do a surrogate because if it's not coming out of me i think i'll be okay i just don't want to get out of me and like no that's fine off, that's and okay, and like but, um, what is it adopting a kid like i feel like i've just seen too many movies where they grow up and they'll be like you're not my mom you're not my dad blah blah <laughs> shout and to it's maury crazy so i maybe a surrogate i would probably do a surrogate because shout out to all the step step daddies in the chat yeah, yeah. I, I mean it, it's just uh, and and are you looking for a man that's higher status that earns a certain amount of money like what are you looking for i feel like every woman wants a guy that has at least some type of better income than the female what's, what's the bare minimum that he would have to make for you i don't know that question um i mean maybe, i don't know i don't know maybe a weekly amount I don't know. maybe a weekly amount bare minimum to be in a relationship with you where you would take him seriously to provide for you and your future dog let's hear it <laughs> right? okay maybe like more than 14k a month that's oh. monthly a month okay. i feel okay. like that's good that's monthly. reasonable 14, for yeah. my age fourteen thousand dollars a month mm -hmm. okay let's, let's, let's do the math here yeah 40, that equates 000. to how many per year by 12 that is 
six figures, one sixty eight k, one hundred sixty dollars, eight thousand dollars. And nowadays, amen. Okay. That's the minimum. That's pretty good. Okay. By the way, just Fair a quick enough. quick side note here. So we got some uh, supporters here. We ain't gonna Patreon. knock you on your on yeah, your yeah, uh, we won't, references. We won't. So we, got, we got some some supporters here in the chat, right? Uh, sorry, in the uh, studio from Patreon, and they said we predicted that one of the girls either go over the camel. Are the white mid drift would get kicked out the podcast? I just made five <laughs> bucks off of this. <laughs> <laughs> off of this bet. <laughs> Shout uh, out to them, that's man. funny, man. That's funny. Okay. okay, cool. All right. What do you want when it comes to dating? Kids, family, marriage, nothing at all. Actually, guys, real quick, invest in cat, in cat and dog food, like I said earlier. I'm telling you, you won't go wrong. Invest in Chewy is going up every single day. Invest in cat and dog food. And real quick, what's the minimum height? I forgot to ask that. <laughs> Honestly, I've dated a guy that was like five. Five? Five. No, no, no. Not five exactly. I have to think. Maybe like five. Bare minimum. I don't even know. Five. Dude. Nine, five, ten. Five, nine, what five, ten. It? Okay. I don't know, but Three? I probably six foot up. Maybe okay. now. Okay. For me, it has to be five, ten and up at least. And that's being nice. I'm curious. <laughs> Can a girl tell the difference between five, eleven and six feet? Can you no. tell? I mean, Can you tell? one inch. What can I tell? But not? Can I tell what? Five eleven to six feet. Can you can you tell? Mm, no. Probably not. I just okay. be like, are you five okay. eleven? And how much do they have to make bare minimum for you? Um, yeah, hundred k. I mean, not honestly. I feel like that's so case specific. You can fall in love with someone that's broke. I think <laughs> it's literally stop the cap. I'm not <laughs> capping. I was I was in love with someone that was. I mean, I'm young, so yeah. I, can't I feel really like we've tell. we've dated guys that are broke as shit. I feel like. Merch. In the long term, <laughs> in the long run, like someone I want to be with, I'm going to have to see myself. I'm going to have to envision myself with them regardless of how much they're making. If shit goes. <laughs> so even she's saying you're lying. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying. That's what I think. Okay. Okay. But, but if shit goes AWOL, you know, you have to envision yourself like sticking by them. And that's how you know it's real, you know? Or you're independent and you don't need a man. Wait, a, a, if if he goes absence with, without leave, if he goes leaving, I'm confused. March. What do you mean? You said if he goes AWOL? I'm saying if like, no. I'm saying <laughs> if shit goes like south, sideways, okay. Me, whatever, all right, okay, like, that's what you meant. All right, okay. Uh, hey, goes, I'm paying attention to what y'all are saying. Like, that's all I'm good. That's all I'm doing. If you know? shit goes south, you know, you got to stick by him. So five, ten, hundred thousand dollars a year. Yeah, whatever. Um, as far as kids goes, I would like to have kids in the future. Maybe how many? How many? Two, oh, you doing interviews? Uh, how many? Honestly, pets are the new kids. Kids are for rich people at this point. <laughs> but I would like to have kids. I want to be rich. So. How many? Two. Okay. The perfect amount. All right, that's fair. Girl, girl, boy, 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 girl, whatever the fuck. All right. Cool. But yeah, Miss Orange swimsuit. <laughs> Caps off. What about you? What do you want when it comes to dating? Well, because I'm the grandmother here, I have dated a lot of guys, so I have had, a, had every experience. How many? I've had at least 30 boyfriends. <laughs> at least. At but least? I've older than you all, you know. Okay. I count up what I count a relationship if it was three months or longer. So that's what I count. Okay. What about one night stands? What's that? What about one No, that's sense? not a relationship. Oh, okay. I mean. Okay. AK, those bodies don't exist. Don't count. <laughs> <laughs> they don't count. Well, you got a relationship. That's a okay. Thing. Okay, so thirty. Okay. Now we make jokes on this podcast, and we say that women typically, when they assess their body count in their head, they only count like the guys that like they're in a relationship with. They don't count like the one night yeah. stands, the guy from Tulum, the guy from the foam cannon party in Cancun, the guys, with, roll, the guys with condoms. Yeah, yeah, the guys with the <laughs> use condoms. You know what I'm saying? Like we make those that joke on, but sorry, continue. sorry, go ahead, go ahead. Well, we I digress. Mean... <laughs> Overall, I'm not a one night stand type of person, so I don't know. Okay. Like overall, whatever. Thirty. Have 30 you had a one night stand in the past? For sure, in this okay. lifetime, yes. In okay. This lifetime, I've yes. never. I, when I was in college, I'll tell you, I used to go. I went to FAU in Boca Raton. Oh shit! We used to oh, come shit. down to South Beach in college. This was like twenty Woo! years ago. The guys that were on like the heat, they would send limos for me and my <laughs> friends, and we would be coming in the VIP clubs. Like that was twenty years ago. Okay, so now I'm like, I have no interest. That was a long time ago. Yeah, I have no interest <laughs> in any of that. But ba back then, there were some like one night stands going on, but not anymore. This so is back when like Alonzo Mourning. Uh, was playing for the beach. <laughs> exactly, Scotty Pippen. Scotty Pippen. Damn. Some niggas in chat wasn't even born yet. <laughs> Yo, that's fucking hilarious, man. 
<laughs> but um, anyway, so now that I've been through everything in this lifetime, I said, okay, now the only thing left for me, I really just think is like soulmate. BBC. A soulmate is a different thing than like, what are you looking for? Five, ten, and like a hundred thousand dollars. That's nothing. Like the, none of that matters. Is it's the connection that mm-hmm. you're looking for in the end of the day. Like you can go through all these experiences. I've dated guys that had like, I, there was this guy, he had 25,000 acres of land in Hawaii and 400 horses and mansions all over and yachts and none of that matters like i have had everything and i and none of it matters and the only thing that matters is the connection you know and like you can have this what you call chemistry and that doesn't matter because like that can also fade you know so like so what's a bare minimum requirement for you for a guy as far as like i mean obviously you're a successful woman yourself entrepreneur so you're gonna want a man on your level or do you or can you date down well, to me, I think now, because I've dated a lot of guys in different capacities that mm-hmm. were bo- above and below income wise or whatever, course, I yeah. think like, of course, they need to be at least at the bare same minimum level. Your level, at the right? same level. Yeah, because okay. at the end of the day, there's this insecurity in a man that says, I don't I can't I'm not enough for you. And that and not enough feeling is really toxic. And that was one of the issues with the last guy was he's like, I can't give you what you deserve. This feeling of he didn't feel he was enough. And so at least they have to feel that they're enough, even if they're not making. So what is that bare minimum number for you, give or take roundabout? Like a half a million, a million, like above that, at least. Okay. Okay. Damn. (laughs) I mean, it sounds crazy. We've we've had we've had crazier numbers, so we're not really surprised by that. And then how tall? Well, I'm exceptionally petite, so I don't okay. have a, a thing. Actually, I don't like super is tall five, guys. Five I work? dated a, no, no. I think like five, <laughs> five eight is like five eight to five ten is a perfect height for me. Okay. But uh, I dated guys that were like six feet to six four. It's a really bad thing. I I'm not good with tall tall guys because I don't want to wear high heels all the time, and I'm actually really petite. So okay. I love tall guys. Okay, fair enough. No, but she, she she's been on the block, man. She knows her stuff. You know what I'm saying? I know oh, what I want. Yeah, she knows what she wants. <laughs> okay. okay, cool. Yeah, there's power. There's Respectful. Power in that. Respectful. All right. Um, I'd say for me, I'm looking for a life partner. I do believe in marriage. I see the value in it. I do want kids in the future. How many? I want four. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, four Kim kids. K. Um, four. Yeah, Just I don't like God, odd numbers. God bless you. I don't like and I don't want like a middle child because I've heard horror stories about that. So our right, niggas pull up, pull up niggas. Four kids. <laughs> um, but yeah, like a life partner, I okay. think is like the the big takeaway. Like somebody that you can grow with, somebody that is going to be with you when you change. Because the person I am now isn't going to be the person that I am when I'm forty or thirty. It's I'm going to be a different person. I want them to all grow and accept me as I grow. I'm <laughs> curious. But, this life partner, what if you never married them? Would that be okay? No. So you she, you definitely want to get married? Nope. My, like, my, I, my, one of my parents doesn't believe in marriage, but I... Is it I, the dad I, or the mom? My dad doesn't believe in marriage. Smart man. Smart man. Smart man. Honestly. Shout out to your dad. Hold on, we'll, we'll t- uh, let her finish and then we'll turn it back to you. He Go doesn't ahead. think that you need a piece of paper to show that how much you love somebody. You don't. He's um, 100% right. But... I don't know. I, Are I your parents like divorced out of curiosity? Yes. Okay. Um, Smart man. But I don't know. I mean, you guys are all about traditional values. So mm-hmm. you smart man you if you're about traditional values and you're about marriage i mean marriage is we're about we're value. about traditional values with traditional women. The yeah. problem is that women have absolved themselves of being traditional while still wanting a traditional man. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's the truth. Hopefully not. Oh, in, your your well, in your perspective, what is traditional in your in your definition? The reason why oh, I knew this was going to happen. But the reason why women have has evolved into opinion. that is because of the way you guys men. treat us, men, and the way media portrays us. So we tell but you that's to a result up. of hold on, hold on. of exactly what you guys want. Wait, hold on, let, let her finish. Her what point, do we? Chris. What do we want? You guys want us to sexualize ourselves and pose ourselves, and you feel me? Like so, that's what we're going to become. Which is the opposite of the traditional, you know, female um, okay. um, so, values. So here's the thing. Um, women sexualize themselves. It's not because men of men. Say. Stop no. it. It's for attention. It's Accountability. From men. Um, because it's not a man in your room with you putting a gun in your head saying, hey, take this Instagram picture with your cheeks out and pose provocatively. Do you it's think the that's women a problem? That are doing that. Do you think that's a problem for women to here's, post that? Here's the thing. I'm a realist and I under I believe in not even I believe I know that if you have certain actions lead to consequences. Okay. 
And you have the right to decide what you want to do with your life. And you have the right to post whatever picture you want to post, to do whatever you want in your life. But with actions come reactions and you can't get mad at what happens after you make a decision to do something. So we got to have a little bit of accountability here and understand that you cannot blame the consumer for your mistake. By your logic, if I was to be, if I was, uh, let's say, let's say I was selling kilos of cocaine, right? And the police arrested me with three bricks in my car. I can't go to the police and say, hey, listen, man, there's a lot of people that want this stuff. You can't arrest me. You know, it's not my fault that I have this cocaine. It's their fault for being addicts. No, the cop would literally look at you like, ha <laughs> ha, stupid. You're going to jail because you made a conscious decision to distribute an illicit product that is illegal and there's consequences to me distributing this drug. Same thing with women and exposing their sexuality. It's okay. You're going to get paid in attention and resources and opportunities from men. But what comes with that? Less respect. Guys aren't going to take you seriously. And more importantly, they're not going to commit to you in marriage. All I'm saying is you guys have liberated yourself, but you've also liberated yourself from marriage and traditional men. You can't have it both ways. You can't be an untraditional woman when you feel like it and then expect a traditional man. It doesn't work that way. We need a little bit of accountability here. I don't think it's 100 percent like men's fault. It's just a society thing. It's a media thing. You know, um, our environment is like constantly evolving with um, the Internet and stuff. But the point is, is that no man is forcing you to take your clothes off and it, it, sexualize yourself. Women make a conscious decision to do that for personal gain, typically, whether it's financial, social attention, whatever it is. Women decide to sexualize themselves. It's not men that are forcing it. Yes, there's a market for it, but I cannot sit there as a drug dealer and blame the addicts that want to consume the product. I still go to jail for that. Do you think it's wrong for girls to post like bikini pictures? Like that's illicit to you? I never said it's wrong or right. No, I'm asking you though. He My thing is this. If you post pictures like that, you're going to be treated a certain way. In a bikini. If you sexualize yourself, men are but going to act accordingly. Not even but that's true. not sexualizing. I'm sorry. It is. For in a bikini? It is. Like you go to the beach, you see girls in bikini. Okay, but you personally, what do you want? You want a girl that doesn't post any pictures in bikini? You bikinis? want a girl that's a Because church you're saying this with is the traditional on. view. No one's going to take you seriously if you post a picture in a bikini. So what do you want? You want a girl that doesn't have any okay, bikini Okay, we're not pictures. talking about me right now. But I'm saying my, as my a man. My opinion isn't have, relevant. No, I'm, but you have your opinions on what we say. Because you're so a man. You're a man. Yes. And we, you have so your opinions you on want? us. So we just want to know like... What about you? Since you're saying it's so bad, you know? I never said it was not, bad. Not to say, like, I that's simply wrong. said, I need you guys to listen, like, seriously, listen. And instead of, like... I'm listening. Because you guys are responding with emotions. I'm giving you a fact. If okay. you sexualize yourself, men aren't going it's to take you seriously. Fact, okay. It's your opinion. It's yes, your it opinion. is an opinion. Everyone has their opinion. That's okay. Well, fact. Okay, Let's hold ask on. the chat. Let's ask the chat. Oh, men in Let's here. ask the chat. Let's the go. chat is 90% men. Okay. Exactly. So, and that's men's opinion, but like we need the women to speak bias. up. No, hold on. What's no. up, women? <laughs> hold on. What the fuck Ladies, ladies. <laughs> okay. Who marries women? Men. That can okay. go both ways. Okay. Men marry women, correct? Men give the commitment. Okay. So men are the deciders of your marriage value and your relationship value, correct? No. They're the market. Whether women want to accept it or not. You don't dictate your marriage value. Men dictate it. What you do goes into it, but men ultimately are the consumers of female beauty and decide if they're going to marriage and marry them or not. So men are perfect. I'm not saying that. <laughs> no, yeah, answer literally. it. Yes you're or no. Shifting. Men are perfect. Yes or no. You're no, shifting no, 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 the no. argument. No, men are not perfect. No, you're shifting the argument. Men yeah. and women you. are equal. Hey, listen, listen, no. listen. Yo, wait, 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 wait. You, you, guys gotta, you guys gotta stop. Like, one at a time. One at a time. Don't cut them off. Let me make my point. Okay, I'm just saying it. Because because I'm I'm literally hitting you with logic right now, and you guys are just responding with opinion. emotion. Uh, it's not an opinion. Your version of logic. Okay, so here's the thing, men. So because I'm gonna preface this, and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. Okay. Men give the rings to the women when they want to marry them. So men are the ones that dictate if women get married. Women dictate if a guy has sex. You guys gatekeep sex because a man can have sex without your consent, correct? Right. It's a crime. That's right. And you can't get married without a man getting on a knee and marrying you, correct? Now, men ultimately decide who gets married in the West, correct? Most so, <laughs> with that said, when you sexualize yourself, you decrease your value 
and men aren't going to want to take you seriously because men want purity when they get married to a woman. Period. That's just how men operate. Now, I'm going to ask the chat. Guys, would you marry a woman that sexualizes herself one for no, two for yes? Again, would you marry a woman that sexualizes herself on the internet one for no, two for yes? Now, we're going to ask the market. We got 10,000 men. We got 10,000 men right now watching. All, all They're going to dictate. There you go. You got a bunch can of I men telling you. Just can't hold, on, about hold, on, it. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I am literally telling you, this is how men think. It's just that men can't okay. tell you this That's okay. because specific. it's considered sexualizing. To Obviously, if I'm posting my my vagina and my fucking and only fans, out, yeah, understand. That, I understand that. But bikini pictures at the beach, pretty in the sand. That's, that's a normal pool. thing that's you see normal. every day. Okay, that's normal. That's not it's, sexualizing. No, 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 You're no, no, not no. being specific. Here's the thing. I I was very specific. I said sexualizing, posting pictures of herself on the internet with not any clothes on. Okay, pretty specific. So, so, then, so I agree. Hold on, hold on. then I agree. I, just, I agree to him. I just then. saw your page, right? Yeah. Bikini pictures. Bikini. So, so, so. Bathing suit. That's, that's not normal. Naked. That's respectable. I understand if yeah, my vagina's out and my titties are out, I understand. Yeah, yeah that's sexualizing. Yeah. But me and my bikini, that's normal. Why do they make bikinis? Why Hold do you on. guys go to the beach? Why do you guys go to the pool? When you go to the beach, right? You walk around in a bikini, what happens? Guys, no guys, hold right? I'm taking a tan. No. I'm sorry that these no, no. men are calling, cat calling okay. me. It's not my so fault. So when you put it on Instagram, imagine the DMs. I'm, we're just saying, look, you put it out there, people are, people are going to come to you. And what comes with the choices that you make could be bad or good. So it's your choice, but ultimately speaking, you're gonna get hit up from guys. There's okay, gonna be, there's that's gonna not be, my there's fault. gonna. That's no. not sexualizing myself. It's me posting a picture. I'm okay. sorry Living that guys are DMs. Ladies, ladies, I, at the beginning I said women want traditional men while absolving themselves of being traditional okay. women. It is not traditional to put pictures of yourself on the internet with prov and provocative clothing and or poses. So it's you don't post pictures of you with your abs out. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Men things. and women are not the same. Are at you all. kidding? So equal. you're saying are men so you are can above women. Pictures without your shirt off, and that's not sexualizing yourself. What are you saying if we're not the same? Okay. Men and women are not equal. Obviously, we're not they're equal. not the same. We're not. We're not equal. Okay. The world is different. So for you can men. post pictures of with your abs, yes or no? So and that's not sexualizing. What I'm telling you, what I'm, I'm telling you is, ladies, men and women are very different. There's things that men can do that women can't, and vice versa. The problem is this. So the um, club land, uh, now are, are, are you? Do you really think? Like, do you not understand that men or men and women are very different in this reality? This is your opinion. It's not 100%. opinion. hundred percent. This is opinions going on. So honestly, yeah, the I don't dynamic. You just had ten thousand plus guys putting ones in the chat that they would not marry a woman that, that sexualizes herself. We're talking about opinions. marriage and being traditional. Tr being traditional means not putting provocative pictures of yourself on the internet. Okay, but so the world is changing. Apps. Okay. The world is changing. And it's Society no longer traditional. It's not traditional. It's no longer. Yeah. Okay. It is 100% so not traditional. thank you. You proved my point. That's what we're saying. Yes. He's of right. course it's not traditional. <laughs> That's what we're saying. He's That's right. What we're wrong. So, of course. 50 years ago, women weren't po I mean, probably so, some, but not as many as today. <laughs> so what's the argument thing? here? That I'm you, saying, I feel okay. My argument. I feel I like I'm so worthy of being loved. One at a time. Okay, go. I feel like. That's a feeling, right? I believe and I agree with the fact that I'm still worthy of being loved, regardless of if I post a picture in a bikini or not, because times have changed. You reality know? doesn't care about your feelings. The guy that what do you think reality is? Though? Hold on. Are you the guy me? that would want to wife you up knows off rip. If I wife her up, keep on to the what? streets. Her page, her page is gonna send dudes to her all the time. I might be at a point where you know what? I'm securing who I am. I want her, but just off rip, her having a for sale sign on her body. That's for her for sale forever. I might not want that. So if I want a girl to be low to me, hey. I don't want her having pictures of the herself. point is this, guys. That's up to you. I simply made a statement at the beginning. <laughs> yeah. I said women want traditional men without being traditional themselves. You said, well, why aren't we traditional? I explained to you that women sexualize themselves in today's society, and that and is not traditional. Don't. And guys, don't. I mean, hold on. We're talking about women first. If you want to switch the topic and talk about men, we can have that discussion okay. after. But for now, we're going to keep it nice and organized on one topic. Okay. I said women sexualize themselves. And they do it by their own doing. Men don't force you to do it, which you guys try to claim. Men force us to sexualize. No, they don't. No. You choose to sexualize, which means you made a conscious decision. And I'm telling you, there's consequences to your decisions. It's just that women don't like the negative consequences of their decisions. You guys want to be able to sexualize yourself with zero consequence. And here's the point. I'm not telling you there's anything wrong with it. I'm just telling you men aren't going to take you seriously for marriage. Okay. And we had a bunch of guys, 10,000 plus in here, that said, I don't want to wife up a woman that sexualizes herself. 10,000 people said I mean, once. 
ten thousand people said once. Did you not I see all the ones that were whatever. here earlier? No, I didn't. Okay, I personally, Chris, because Chris, you're, because Chris, you're Chris, seeing what you want to see. I'm Chris, telling you how men really think. Men, but you're saying have a sexualizing. Serious, please let me finish. Men have a serious problem with women. <laughs> That advertise themselves on the internet and taking them seriously as a wife. A lot of guys have an issue. But with they love to follow Wait, wait, hold on. Men, uh, it's uh, bikini uh, pictures. Okay, okay. You're gonna date a girl who posts pictures in bikinis. Everyone, even she probably posted a picture in bikinis. You Dude. probably posted pictures. Yeah, but that goes they back. Will date to, you. Everyone they follow. follow. That goes Listen. back to yeah. my argument that women aren't traditional today's day and okay. age. You win. Marriage Whatever. is a traditional concept, correct? 100%. Okay. Fuck marriage. Are women traditional now? Um. Not all of us, but that's not to say we're okay. like we're people all use men. Hoes. I'm not gonna lie. Listen, people use men. I don't post. I don't have one bikini picture. Go on my Instagram. Okay. I'm, I'm not talking about you guys. Pages, no. I know you're not. I'm not. I'm not talking about you guys but in I'm general. Saying, from that is perspective, and but I we're still women, defend. So we're gonna feel. Okay. Well, I don't care about your feelings. We're talking about facts and logic here. I'm telling you, simply put, this isn't towards you. But to all women out there, Which is your actions have consequences. <laughs> you can take it that way if but you it's want. All women. You can, if, I'm a you woman. Can, if okay. the consequence. Can I please finish? Ladies, yes, go ahead. can you, you guys, stop you, coming people off? Guys, uh, uh, please. The tequila is strong, but no, just relax. Are you kidding me? Yeah, so, yeah, no. Are you kidding me? She's drinking water. So listen, I'm so the point weird. I'm trying to make is, is this, guys. Okay? And you, you guys might not like what I'm saying. I'm just saying your actions have reactions, and that reaction sometimes tends to be negative. For all the attention and validation and likes and comments that you get for posting pictures of yourself, that make you look good, you're also going to limit your ability to get a marriage and or traditional relationship with a traditional man that you want to adhere to these certain traits. I'm simply saying you're not traditional, so you can't expect a traditional man and get a traditional marriage. Simply put like that. Okay. And listen now no, with, I can live with you. Okay, and okay, if you could live with that, that's cool. But you guys are not going to come on here and say, oh, men sexualize us and we, we do. you know, we do. No, you sexualize yourselves. Whatever. Women sexualize themselves. Yes. I can't force a woman to make an OnlyFans account sell pictures of herself. Not every woman is the same. But no woman not would make everyone it. Has no an one woman would make an OnlyFans if they didn't have an audience, exactly. which is all you. OK, and I can men. sell cocaine and make a lot of money. But if I get caught, I'm going to jail. But you don't. Right? Cocaine is different. It's like not every girl no, 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 no. The fans. point is, an you addiction. cannot. This you is cannot. An, you cannot choice. attack. You cannot attack the market that wants it and say, no, but I, I'm. Literally, it's the same exact, you're, by your logic, I'm going to blame the consumers of this product as to why I make this product. What I'm telling you is, if you distributed the product, you got to deal with the consequences of having said product and distributing it, which is lack of respect from men when you sexualize yourself. Okay. And Period. Which they look, do. Men will date you. They'll take you out. But they'll never wife you. They they'll will smash... wife us. You no, guys... no, no, no. Well, they'll... not us, because no, we're no, not like no. that. In general, they'll, they'll, they'll smash you, have fun. But to say, oh, put a ring on it, they won't do it. Okay. Well, that's not true because it's their opinion. It's uh, not, it's Cardi B. No, no, no. It's a fact. Marriage rates have declined. <laughs> Cardi B is Cardi B a horrible is example. Married. You Cardi guys, B is a hold on, hold on. No, no, no. With no. a child. On you, you guys, you guys literally just use Cardi B, which is one of the worst examples <laughs> ever. Worse. And here's the other thing, too. You got to understand marriage rates have steadily declined over the past few decades. Listen, marriage is a fucking man made concept. And listen, you're born into this life by yourself, you leave by yourself. Fuck marriage. You know, if you find a connection, great. Well, Someone before to... you were angry at the fact that I mentioned marriage is a traditional no, thing. No, it's just no, because you were sexual. Like you were. Like, you were trying to blame women. Yeah, you're trying. And we're trying to blame, blame you. No, women. Listen, no. it's a, it's a two-way street. No, 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 no. I'm holding you guys accountable for your actions. Accountable. If you choose, if you choose to take sexual po photos of yourself, hundred percent. Men aren't going to take you seriously. That's just logic, like you're, you're saying. Most yeah, times. yeah. It's logic. Well, that's that's normal because that's how men think of women. You okay. know, they want someone pure. They yeah. want someone sweet. Whatever. You opinion. Know. It doesn't matter. It's your guys' opinions. I don't even care. Go. Continue. Let's go. <laughs> it's just your guys' opinion. What part of it is opinion? It's your opinion. What part on is women. opinion? You don't know every You're saying woman. That every, There's billions. You don't of know women every woman, and you don't know every man. You don't. You we don't. talked to it's, hundreds of women. Okay, every hundreds. Single wow, hundreds. And hundreds, and thousands, also, also, billions of women. Also, and all these guys are how, following your podcast, which is because you know, they agree has with a vibe. you guys. They it found has a vibe. us after finding out the truth for themselves. There's and no, say, the you know truth. What? There's no truth. Reality is truth. Reality is truth. My feelings, your feelings, your opinions. You guys see this? Guys, the truth is they're single for a reason. <laughs> yeah, a reason y'all is we want to choose. We want to choose. If I too. wanted ten boyfriends right now, I could have ten boyfriends right now. No, I believe you. Ten dicks right now. But I choose. Okay, Boy ten dicks. I don't give a fuck. Ten pussies. I don't care. The, the like point that's of, just the point of the matter, guys. I'm is single we're talking I'm single. about we're, we're talking about marriage here, and we're talking about marriage is, and is you a have traditional your own opinion, concept. I have my own opinion, and that's it. Let's yeah. go. Continue. The, no, 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 no. It, no, yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> he wants to argue. It is a it is a fa it's a biological fact that men have an issue with promiscuous you women and or women that have okay. You have your own opinion. Fuck marriage. No, it's just Let's like you have your own opinion. I have my own opinion. Every person in this planet has their own opinion. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna agree with you, and you're not gonna agree with me, and that's it. Girls, give your well. Here's the give, thing: and you, can, your, you can you can agree to disagree, cents. but you're incorrect Please. in your assessment. I, I wanted to say something. You're incorrect. To you, I'm okay. incorrect. I'd but like to, to say me, something. I'm correct. Huh. I want to hear her. I feel like earlier when we were going around and we were all asking, what kind of relationship and you want to have your kids and how much should he be? No, I don't. Want no, I'm just I'm just suggesting that was the question that we were answering, mm -hmm. and there was a part of that that was kind of like alluding to that you would be marrying this person. But the question was never really asked, do you actually want to be married? Do you want to be married? Do you Eventually, think that matters? Yeah. It, I, like I a, would probably want to traditional yeah. wedding. Okay, mm -hmm. what about you? To be honest, I don't find that <laughs> as like something that I, you're like, it's not a life goal of mine to be married. It's, if it happens, it happens. If it happens, it happens. And honestly, I don't even want it to happen because so many things, like so many strings attached, you know, come with that. That like I don't even care. It's about a contract. That. What about you? I said I did. You want to? You be do want to? So, so I think that nowadays, and even in the U.S. especially, I don't know if you guys know, but like the, actually, the uh, ch the the number of people having children and or getting married is declining. It's yep. like the number one yep. country in the world that's not getting married and not having kids anymore basically it's declining which i think is actually probably because the better but because there was so much divorce people were like what's the point but the point is that so that question i think was never really like fully asked so we were like how much should he make how many kids would you have but like do you want to be married that would be the foundation before how many kids how much should this guy be making well the, the, the it's the yeah. issue of contention is that they didn't like my response that if you want a traditional man, you should be a traditional woman. And they said, well, I should be able to do what I want. And uh, if I take pictures or whatever, why does that change? And I said, well, the thing is, is that men want a woman that has traditional values Can and I posting uh, scantily clad pictures of yourself is not traditional, whether you want to accept it or not. Now, you might say this is a modern type thing. Women are empowered. They can do what they want. That's fine. You can be liberated and everything else. But what I'm saying is that you're also going to liberate yourself from the security and provisioning of a marriage from a lot of men who actually agree with me on this thing. It's just that it sounds like a foreign concept Can to you I guys. Say something? Because are, are you actually listening or are you just yes. listening to respond? No, I'm actually listening No, you're not. To. Because I'm telling you yes, literally she's... what men want and how men view the world and how men view I'm women. I'm listening to you. I'm and not listening no to the guy, other men, though. No guy. But you're saying, well, you're making your own opinion. And I said, no, okay, I well, I want to say something. Can you Whenever guys, you're done, I want to say you, something. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Okay. So the point I'm trying to make is, is that men, most men, okay, on a bounce. What do you want to say? Go ahead. Go. You're saying traditional. So you want me to wear a skirt all the way to my ankles. Got to take it to the extreme, And a of course. long <laughs> sleeve shirt in my pictures. Hey. Because you guys are taking it to the extreme. No. A bikini is an extreme to You're you. You're going to think shorts you are, are sexualizing ourselves. A crop top sexualizing ourselves. No. What do you want? Did we say that? No, Did... but you guys are Listen. saying bikini pictures aren't so normal. Like, what are you talking about? What are you actually talking about? I don't think he's saying they're not normal. No, but he's saying that the, that's sexualizing ourselves. Yes. Is posting a picture in a bikini, yes or no? What is your definition of yes. sexualizing yourself? Give me a clear is definition. posting a picture in our bikini, which what is What is it? You know what? Since you know exactly what men want and feel, all I, the men in the world. I have a question. You want to get married, right? Yeah. If the man you wanted to get married to told you today, delete your Instagram. I'll take care of you. Would you would you get rid of it or no? Fuck that motherfucker. Okay. I feel like no one should tell me what I can and cannot do. Like specifically on social media. I'm not posting my vagina. I'm not posting my titties out. It's literally a bikini picture. It's normal. So you would say like, no. If you're that insecure, that I don't want you my near me. Hold on, hold on. That means that's not the, the man for me. There's going to be a man for me and I could do what I want. And if that guy wants me to delete my social media... Because he's insecure, then that's his fault. Who is See, this man? all your, what is he, is this all of your boyfriend? requirements. Hold on, all your requirements: six feet, 
money in the bank. It's not a requirement. There was a guy short. Like, it does not matter. I don't give a You guys were asking us and you wanted us to tell you what were our requirements. There were no requirements for real if you ask each of us. I got triggered just because he said posting bikini pictures is sexualizing ourselves and we're not going to have a marriage because we're fucking posting bikini pictures when that's so normal. He's saying your chances of getting married are going to be slimmer. And then guess what? And then guess In what? Girls head. marry BBL girls. Like girl, I mean, guys yeah, marry yeah, BBL yeah. girls. In your that, head. That be marry. True. But at the same time, he's just saying to you, it's your choice, it's your body. You can do whatever you want to do. But just understand that there's a, a reaction to that choice that you make. Okay. That's of what you're saying. Perfect. I've said that it. clearly a million times. Yeah. It, it, it's just you were saying that we were sexualizing ourselves. So I don't when like you that. Post pictures, it's not sexualizing okay, okay. ourselves. Yeah, when you post pictures of yourself on the internet that are scantily clad for the purpose of getting and or attention but from what men, is the definition? it is sexualizing yourself. Whether what you is want the definition? It post ad and it's not traditional. And it's okay. Listen, it's not traditional. And I know you don't want us to ask your opinion, it's not but traditional. in your opinion, what you want it's from It's not traditional. It's not traditional, obviously. Posting, posting pictures of yourself on the internet, right, for the purpose of getting attention, likes, and or validation what about you and is your not abs? traditional. What about men and you women and are different. Dude, men no, doesn't matter. How is men with their abs It's really different. No, I want to hear this. How are men and their abs different? Are men and women the same? Listen. How are men and their abs different from posting their pictures with no, their abs out? I'm telling Let you. Let me know. No, you're not answering I'm the gonna, question because there's no answer to Because we're going to do this in a way where you'll be able to understand. Because Okay, if, I'm going to understand your answer. Go. Yeah. So are men and women the same? Answer the question. No. Are men and women asked, the same? I asked it first. No, no. This is. That's not how this works. Okay. You're on my platform. Okay. What are you saying? Do you question do I, are men and women Please. the same? I'm simply asking you Obviously, a question so you can come to a deductive conclusion here. They're different. They're different, correct? So do we play by the same rules in life? Bro, whatever. Honestly, whatever. Let me ask you a you question. Guys, I, I want to ask like... you a question about this abs and everything because, you know, when it comes to he's a fitness. Were you a fitness professional? Do you do this for? Where are you going? Probably to the bathroom. Oh. Uh, do you, Are you a fitness professional? Yes. So, and when you're referring to guys that post these six-pack pictures, you think like there's a difference between someone who's doing it because they're a professional in the fitness industry or, and also in the bikini, like if a girl's putting like uh, pictures out that's like, I'm fit, but they're in the business of fitness, would that be, and I want to hear your response too, would that be sexualizing because it's industry specific to their business and they're using that platform for business? Or you mean just people who are very obviously doing these pictures that are like sexual but like simply could put, be wearing the same simply thing. put a man that shows pictures of himself on the internet is not the same as a woman that puts pictures of herself on the internet when a woman sexualizes herself on the internet certain doors open that would never open for a man said the same types of pictures were put out for him men and women don't play by the same set of rules in the world we're very different we you can call that sexist or whatever it is it's the reality it's not fair that i can't get into a club for free it's not fair that men don't da- donate money to me just based on the way that I look. It's not fair that I can make $10,000 a month on OnlyFans selling feet pictures. But that's the reality. Women have certain privileges and accesses that men don't. It is what it is. I'm not here to complain about it. But what I am here to say is that women have serious contention and issues when sexism doesn't favor them. But they're okay with sexism when it does favor them. Getting into clubs for free, getting all the benefits of being an attractive young woman. One of the things that women have a serious issue with is they think that we play by the same set of rules when it comes to dating and sex, and we don't at all. A man that can have sex with a lot of women is not the same as a woman that has sex with a lot of men. A man that has sex with a lot of women brings value. A woman that has sex with a lot of men loses her value. It's just the way it is. I think that's wrong. a second. Are you serious? Yes. No, you're actually kidding. I think that's wrong. So you can have more sex with however many fucking women you want? Yes. But, but what's the difference? Can't. No. But why, but why you do you find, actually kidding me right now? But why do you I'm find it? Serious. Why are you no no no? Why are you so confident on this answer? I'm very serious. But why are you so serious about this answer? Okay, if I was to break it down, in break a it down simple, to me so I can understand. No, well, well, are you listening? Or are you going to just like listen to respond? Are you I'm actually listening. listening to understand versus listening to respond? Because you guys are just listening to respond at this point. That's your opinion. Can I say something? It's not an no, opinion. No, I want to hear him. You guys go. don't let me finish my okay, statement, go, go. which clearly shows that you guys are waiting to get triggered and respond. Go. The it's key. a triggering concept. Let, right him go, let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Right go. there. Give me the super chat. Fit. Speak your truth. We're going to read the super chats real quick. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. All right. So name changer seven, $50. I'm giving you another 50 for having to listen to Asian girl giving her opinion. I don't know if <laughs> there was an answer. 
in there, but my hair is falling out, and I'm sorry for Fresh Fit for having to do this show. Goddamn, it is what it is, guys. Uh, <laughs> let's see here. 50 and up. 50 and up. Okay, Barbie V got uh, out the building. You feel me? Bless her heart. She gave it all her all. You feel me? Glad we <laughs> can move on to a more productive show. You feel me? Yep, cool. Um, the haven't got the super chat in a bit, but for the girl in the white top, I can't just sit by and say nothing. I see innocence in her. You just gave your value to the wrong guy. Don't let the jade, don't let that jade you and let a player ruin it for you. Preserve value. Thank okay. You. okay. Well, there's more to the story, my friend. Uh, shout out to the, I'm sorry. <laughs> nothing. Continue speaking. Did you say shut the fuck up? No, it was a joke. Okay. Please don't disrespect me on my platform. hundred percent. I haven't sworn at you or told you to do anything that's, you know. I have so much Extremely respect for you and all your... Is that sarcasm? Is that? Yeah. <laughs> no. 100%. I'm serious. It was a joke, for real. You guys can't take a joke on a podcast? It's not about that. It's that... <laughs> don't do it again. Yeah, don't do that again. All right, I'm so sorry. That's extremely disrespectful to us and the platform. Mm -hmm. That's that's your last warning. Okay. Okay. Uh, CK, $50. There's a reason that Islamic and Hindu cultures have the best marriage rates. It's because the traditionalism is preserved on both the gender sides. This result in long-term marriages. Even Hindus and Muslims in America have the least divorce. Okay. Tima Peterson, this combative behavior will not land you a ring on your finger, uh, especially a high-value man with options. Oh, that's Chris, coming from Chris, a woman. There's one more. Uh, Tima uh, Peterson. Zach Drago. Uh, oh, no, you are incorrect. Black shirt. You don't use actual data to support your opinions. Myron uses facts based on research predominantly from biology and evolution. Social constructs will never pull humans, uh, pull humans more than their biology. Cut her mic. Ah, no mention. We gotta give her. We gotta give her a, a voice, man. Let her hear what she has to say. Let's hear. Uh, Jabrizi, fifty dollars. Proof power corrupts. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, man. Marco Reaper, you should call. You should. Uh, you should Frank Castle all four of these useless human beings. Nah, man, I ain't gonna nah, do that. Nah, nah, nah. Uh, Dylan is cool. Women's instant validation killed the traditional male. Oof. Yeah, chivalry is dead and women killed it, man. I agree. Uh, I'm honestly speechless. The two females on the left, I truly play, pray for. Literally being given the answers to the exam, but telling the professor he is wrong. You can lead the horse to water, but you can't make it drink. Huge respect for the patients, the fresh and fit. Wow. And that's from uh, Alauzen Ba. Thank you so much. Thank you. Alauzen. Mathematical. Uh, and mathematical. Do these women realize how masculine they are? Shout out to fresh and fit for saying what I cannot publicly say. Meh. Yeah. Aotic, uh, sorry about my name so much. I want to say, number one, remember the other day we thought... There's no girls worse than Reddit. And number two, the one time Aaron chose to control his anger, pure disrespect from these two girls on Myron's left. Can't make this shit up. Okay. So uh, going back to my uh, comment as to why a woman, uh, men and women are different and we look at sex differently, why a man can have sex with a lot of women and a woman can't necessarily have sex with a lot of men is if I'm going to boil it down to two sentences, it's this. A key that opens many locks is a master key. A lock that opens any key is a shitty lock. Simple as that. Men and women are extremely different. The way we view sex and relationships is very different. Men must create their value, whereas women are born with their value. Okay. So you create your that value by because... fucking multiple women as no. many as possible? No. Because we obviously create our value by not fucking multiple men, right? That's what you're saying. That's like, as far as it comes to it. two sheep. different scenarios here. Okay. For men, we bring value to the table so that eventually we, we get to get access to girls. You just show up and men want you. It's two different things. That's not true. That was true again 50, 100 years ago. Okay. So, <laughs> so that's not um, true anymore. Here's the, thing. True. here's the thing, ladies. Um, you said you get value from fucking women. No. You get value from creating value, and then a byproduct of that is women like you. You understand? So guys that are higher status and everything else like that, their reputation typically precedes them, and a byproduct of their success and their stature is that women come to them. For example, let's use a musician like Drake, right? He's made great music, right? He's excelled in his career. He's gained public notoriety globally at this point. And a byproduct of that success is women want to have sex with him. Men create value and then women come in and extract that said value from that man. That's just the way it is. It's been that way since the beginning of time. Okay. Women are born with value and must preserve their value. There's a reason why a woman works that walks down the aisle wearing a white dress to signify virginity and purity. And a man commits to her and gives her long-term relationship and, uh, and uh, security. It's just the way it is. Women value security, men value purity. We value two different things and we don't play by the same set of rules. Therefore, a man that can have sex with a lot of women is not the same as a woman that has sex with a lot of men. Okay, so you think <laughs> women should maintain their virginity for as I long as possible? I never said that. I'm simply telling because you. Because that will be the ultimate, most pure 
woman, correct? Um, a virgin woman. What I'll simply say is that a woman that is a virgin is going to have more relationship market value to a larger percentage of men than a woman that has a past. But why is that attractive to you? To it's me like, or to a, men? It's a primitive yeah. thing. So like you can see this across of many species, but especially like primitively even people before women. So this is the value that women bring is bearing children, right? Like every species, your goal is to reproduce, is to like make sure that your genes carry on. And then the what men bring is security. So while you're like in nine months, you're like pregnant, right? That that species, that male species res responsibility is to like make sure that there's a habitat, there's like a, a home to settle in, that they're bringing in food while you physically can't go and fend for yourself and get food for that child. So that is why men are like seen as more valuable when they have more mates, because for them, their success is measured in how many offspring they can produce. Right. So for like and this could be any species, it could be a bird, it could be a worm, like their measure of success is how many offspring they, th they can have. They can have that. They can literally inseminate a woman today, inseminate another woman tomorrow. They can have. 50 children whereas a woman has to wait nine months and that why that's why women are more selective because you have to be pregnant for nine months you have to make sure that the genes that you're carrying and that the man that you are choosing to have their child is going to make sure that that one child because you can't have another child until another nine months is like well off it's a primitive thing i'm not saying that we should like we're obviously a lot more advanced than our <laughs> primitive like start but that is like where it all stems from. So yeah, I get it. It's biology. It like it's ingrained in you to want to find somebody that can provide for you because you know that your best chance of like bringing your genes forward is not going to happen for another nine months. Like you can't get pregnant for even longer than that. Probably like ten or twelve months after that. Don't. It's, it's God damn, damn the chat was, loves the chat loves this. That was fucking amazing. The chat's like, yo, <laughs> that, was, that, was that was accurate. That was good. Yeah, I mean, it's simply put, guys, it's biology. Like, men have a serious, um, we have a stake in ensuring the child is ours. So if it, it, it's a defense mechanism. Just like you want a guy that's tall and makes money and can provide you security, a man wants a woman that is that doesn't have a past that's going to, how do I say this, not have his kid and have another man's kid and cheat on him. Yeah. Yep. A woman's biggest fear is being violated. I would say graped, right, to keep it safe on YouTube. A man's biggest fear is finding out the child isn't his after he's been providing resources and security to it. Yeah. The thing is, is that no one cares about what men want, really. And that's why when I talk to you guys about this, instead of listening, you're, you know, having this uh, reaction, uh, this adverse reaction to it, because no one tells the truth to women about this is what men want. Yeah. Long story like, short, men don't want to wipe a hoe. And hoes might have kids for different dudes. We don't want that. There's a reason why since the beginning of time, women have been shamed sexually. It's because there's serious negative consequences when a woman has a promiscuous you past. You guys have been hurt. Yes. <laughs> Let's be real. You guys as, Doja Cat, as Doja Cat said herself. <laughs> but I, I don't think that it's like- Men ain't shit all up in your fridge. <laughs> Can't pay rent. And that's Stupid. All I gotta say. That's yeah. all I gotta say. So, um, Y'all talking about providing. What's going on provide shit but your dick? So do you guys see how we got open misandry right now on the air and uh, saying men ain't shit, whatever. All we've done is presented facts as to why men. Why women are hoes. As soon as they post a bikini picture is what you're trying to provide. No one said that. No one said that. You said that. No one said that. We simply Explicitly. said if you over-sexualize yourself. When did we say that? Men, men don't want hoes. And you're ho if you over-sexualize uh, over yourself. I did not say that. And you over-sexualize over -sexualize yourself if you post a bikini picture. Therefore, that's what you're saying. No, I said if a woman post pictures of herself sexualizing herself men aren't bikini. going to take her seriously and they don't want her take putting Same. bikini pictures on the internet is sexualizing tomato, yourself tomato tomato it is sexualizing potato, yourself potato. it's all the same exact thing you're trying to say man my man sorry lady. not at all because there's a big difference between saying coming to a conclusion saying you're a hoe for posting pictures of yourself versus if you post pictures of yourself sexualizing men aren't going to take you seriously for marriage those are two completely different concepts you're not going to come on here and switch the wording around to try to fit your agenda or what you're you feel in your head. To, you're switching my words around. Let's no, 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 no. You literally just said you're direct, that I came to a conclusion you're... saying sexualizing yourself makes you a hoe. No, I simply said you can sexualize yourself, but there's consequences you to said it. That. 
and women are not going to take you. Men are not going to take you seriously for marriage. He just said, said two seconds ago, men don't want hoes. OK, that's true. And what is a hoe? A woman that sexualizes herself. No one said that. No one said that. Said so that. what nope. is a hoe to you? Since that's what you're saying. I since said that's the point women, you're both getting to. No, no, no. Because you guys are direct. She was saying guiding this entire right? podcast. Right. Why men want to have a girl that's going to be there for nine months and not go around and sleep with other guys. A pure woman. Because they want to know. Guys still leave the girl, though. Primitive sexuality. Guys still yeah. leave the girl no matter how much. Like, no matter how still, good the girl is. Guys still leave the girl. That's why there's so 100%. many single women. Like, it doesn't even matter. Like, um, guys will Women initiate leave. 80% of breakups. No, guys will you know be that? hoes and do their own thing Where did you get that woman. statistic? Please um, tell we me. We actually have marriage okay. data that yes. seven to eight out of ten marriages are initiated. Divorces are initiated by women. Women overwhelmingly initiate breakups, and there's statistics to prove that. That's not hard because to believe, they're not though, taking because... men's shit. And no, men, what does and she men... have to say? Say it. Go say, ahead. Say, say. That's not hard to believe, though, because I feel like in a lot of relationships, like the woman, and that I mean, I don't know if there's a statistic to prove this, but I think women are more faithful. Like when you fall in love with somebody, yes. you, or at least for me, if I'm in love with somebody, like I don't even see anyone else. Like I'm like blind to any other guy in a room. Like I only see that one person. Whereas men aren't that way, or in my experience. So they it's not hard to believe that women initiate more divorce because a lot of women are like not willing to share their, their man. So if you if you Well, the real reason why most divorces are initiated is financial, typically. Oh, okay. It's Monetary. It's, mostly, it's it's not infidelity. Because uh and we've 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 talked about on our show, if a man is high status enough and has enough money and uh, you know, resources, women will share him sexually. A man that cheats is not the same as a woman that cheats. I think the reason why women are more attached than men easily is just like the literal nature of sex. Yes. Because when we're having sex, you guys are entering our bodies and our yes. space, you know, and that's why we talk about like energy, lighting and someone coming into your energy because they're literally coming inside of you and whatever. As for a man, it's like you're just like X, like you feel me? It's yes. all external. So. Which so it's point. not as much like attachment or connection. What's the point? What was the point though? The the point is is this is why a so man's that sexuality is why, that is why like, a man's sexuality, past sexuality, is not the same as a woman's past sexuality. You literally just summed it up for me there. There you go. Women take sex far more seriously than men do. Okay. You proved my point. Uh -huh. I agree with that. We never said that that women take sex more seriously. And and that, that's what I'm saying. A man takes a woman's past extremely seriously. Women want a man with a future. Men want a woman that doesn't have a past. That's just the way it is biologically. We can't sit here and get mad and say, well, that's sexist or that's messed up that you guys don't want to take women seriously to have a past. Maybe it's it the way you're wording it. Maybe it's the way you're wording it. I'm giving you objective fact. You, you don't know, have to like the way I word way it. I'm wording telling you the it. truth. I'm being direct and concise and saying what it is. Uh, ladies, wording if, can hold change on, pause. The ladies, ladies, hold on, pause. If you will stop cutting them off, you can hear them clearly, okay? Simple as that. Ain't nobody so oh, no, and look, listen, because when the ladies to the right was talking, it was very quiet. So I know you have the uh, capacity to actually shut up and listen to what's trying to say. OK, <laughs> so right now you're trolling Myron because he's a guy. And so once the, the women talk, you guys shut the that's fuck true. up. You guys. Yeah, that's true. You guys didn't uh, interrupt them when they were speaking, but you guys felt completely OK Put with your cutting hand us down. off, insulting us, disrespecting the platform. And we've been very patient with you guys, you know. Uh, with giving our points and allow you guys to refute it. But instead of refuting what we're saying with statistics, you're saying you guys are misogynists. You got not sorry, excuse I didn't me. Say that. You didn't say misogynist. You guys said, um, who hurt you? Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, like if we've oh, been hurt by girls. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, and then you guys are ch changing our words around saying that women that sexualize themselves are hoes. We didn't say that. We simply said if you sexualize yourself, a consequence of that is men aren't going to take you seriously for marriage because you're no longer a traditional woman by sexualizing yourself on the internet. Okay. Which you guys agreed to earlier. I apologize if I was disrespecting you guys, but this is a podcast. You guys are asking questions. I'm going to have my opinion. And you guys are being very you're gonna blunt. Have, you're going to have What's your opinion. What's wrong with being blunt? And I'm, exactly. So what is wrong with us being blunt? But you feel me? Listen, you've, you've ladies, been blunt, you've been blunt to a their, point where it's it's disrespectful, no, we whereas we're telling you what and it I'm is. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be disrespectful. Ladies, ladies, ladies. Once again, okay. it's okay to have different opinions, right? I don't. We don't mind, all right? But when you're cutting him off, right, let's have a decent conversation. Okay. No, no. See? You're doing it again. Thank you. Wait till I'm done. Shut the fuck up. And <laughs> listen to Myron. All right. This is Chris. All right. So I can be this way, but just, you know, I'm the moderator. I'm the referee. Okay. Just relax. I'm on your side. All right. Go ahead. 
Okay, so can we do the uh, Zion reaction? Uh, Zion Williamson? Well, hold on. I think they had something they wanted to say. Okay. Go ahead. I'm not trying to cut you guys off. All right, go no, ahead. I'm trying to be quiet. I literally am just saying that this is a podcast. We're on it. I'm going to defend myself as a woman. You're going to defend yourself as a man. We're not going to agree and we're going to disagree, whatever. I don't mean to be disrespectful, but I'm obviously going to say what I have to say because we are have a microphone. We have headphones. I kind of can say whatever I want to say. You guys can kind of say whatever you want to say. I understand this is your podcast. So we're supposed to agree with you guys? Like, no, I don't just understand. just don't cut people no. off when they're talking. It's okay. simple as that. It's okay, simple perfect. as that. It's so simple. But, okay. What's, right. So what's your... Uh, I'm Here's the thing. I'm not going to let this go until... Like, you need to prove what we're saying is incorrect or wrong. But I've been There's trying, no but I guess that. in your eyes, you're right. What, what have we said that's wrong? <sighs> you should be able to outline it very easily if what we said is wrong. What have we said that's wrong? Well, for one, you guys have said a bunch of things about, well, that's your opinion. Men don't really think that way. Uh, my past doesn't matter. I should be able to sexualize myself with zero consequence. I should be able to post pictures of myself and still be able to get a traditional marriage. And I'm simply telling you that your actions have consequences. And the consequence of that is men are not going to respect and or take you seriously if you sexualize yourself on the Internet. Listen, both sides are completely opinions. As a matter of fact, I would and, argue and that situation- society... Society won't take you seriously. There's a reason why women that are on OnlyFans lose their jobs. We don't have OnlyFans. No. It's am I, am I hold on, hold on. Am I like in a bizarre world right now? I'm not talking about you guys. I need you guys to step out of the frame as if I'm talking to you. I'm talking in generalities. And I'm defending women. my woman. Okay, well, defend them with facts. Then I'm defending what can you, my woman. Okay, defend them. I'm what have I said that's woman. wrong? I don't know about any other girl, like whatever, but me as a woman, I'm going to defend myself and I feel like a lot of girls could be just like me and not everyone has OnlyFans. I feel like a lot of, there are women, how you're talking about women, there are women like that, but not everyone is like that. Did we say everyone was like okay, that? Okay. But you my, guys are, you're saying the like argument all women is, and that's kind of a, like, that's rude. Did we say like all saying women? all women. Wait, what, what, you what, kind of are saying no, no, all no. women. No, no, When did I say, when did we say all, all You guys women? are saying women. But we you, simply said, but but you said so you Hold have on. to say all to say all women Yo. no it's woman all women attack the argument we said if a woman sexualizes herself on the internet which is a choice would you guys earlier try to say men force you to do it no it's a choice that men aren't going to respect you and take you seriously refute that claim you're saying sexualizing is posting bikini pictures yes or no yes or no Putting scantily clad pictures of yourself on the internet is sexualizing. Bikini, bro. Like, okay, so he said bikini. yes. He's been avoiding the question, but he said yes, officially. Okay. A bikini. So, refute that claim. That's just... That over-sexualizing yourself does not make you lose respect with men. Refute that I claim. mean, obviously, a lot of men, yes, but that's not all men. You know, it's not 100%. So, overwhelming majority. And just like... And we even took a test Listen, here where we asked the, the the. I'm 100%. If you ask these men, audience. if they're in a relationship right now, if their girlfriend has a bikini picture on Instagram, they would say yes. So therefore, everything you just said is false. We talked about marriage earlier. Yeah. Whatever, Not being in a relationship. Okay. You win. You guys win. Married, about marriage. married women. Whatever. Still have bikini pictures. My mom was married. So tell me, would you show your dad the photos on, on your IG? Yes. Oh, of course, yes. my dad follows me. I do not. I'm not lifting doctor. my leg up, showing me. the world my vagina. It's a bikini picture. They make bikinis for women. Yes or no? Yes. Like, what's the problem of that? We never said are it's we a problem. In the 1950s? You guys are kind of saying it's a problem. You're <laughs> no, no. saying we're sexualizing You're yourself. You're assuming we're saying the problem. We're just saying, look, if you we're not going to get like married. That, okay. No, no. Ahead. We're saying there's a possibility, a very high one, where men won't take you seriously, and it is. It's, they're it's saying in the chat. Is, yeah. Okay, it's that's true. your opinion. I think you guys. I think men will definitely. Love us for who we are, whatever. No, they, they'll, they'll smash you. All right. Okay. Yeah. They'll have sex with so, you. But... So, are you guys dating? Are you single? Yeah. What does that have to do with the conversation? It's just because if what your girlfriend or your wife, so what is our relationship status? Status? You're still gonna love. You're still gonna love them. You're still gonna like them. It does not matter what they post. At the end of the day, they're home with you. They're they're doing whatever with you. You're dating them. You guys are happily together. You got you probably took the picture of them at the beach. It does not matter. You guys are. Like so, social, like you're so social media, like you guys are taking it. You're you know so focused on physical. You know what's very interesting about this conversation? Mm-hmm. We asked the women, what do they want in men? They gave their preferences. No one batted an eye. But when we said men typically don't want to take women seriously that sexualize themselves, there's serious contention Listen. with that. Yeah. No, you guys, so you in other set words, us up. can I please finish? Go ahead. The issue here is that women are okay to have their preferences 
but it's not okay for men to have their preferences. At it's all. always met with some kind of contempt. And you guys are seeing it right now, live on air, that when I say men want women that are virtuous and pure to some degree for a serious relationship, especially marriage, it's met with extreme contempt, shaming language, insults, guilt, etc. <sighs> so, because I'm telling you how men think. No one bats an eye when you guys gave your preferences. You guys ask us specific ask questions, specific, though. And, and even if we, like, we steered don't care away how much from you it, make. Like, I don't care. Even if we steered away from that question, you guys made sure to go back to the question yes. and get the answer because this is what you wanted. You wanted to set us up and to we go. set you up? You guys well, asked to anecdote you set it. Up. I, you set I didn't up. set myself up, honey. <laughs> you guys wanted to hold on, hold on. I just want to put an end to this because it's never ending and it kind of <laughs> reminds me of like Chinese water torture. Just, I don't know what that is. It's okay. But I want to say it's nothing against anybody. It's just the idea that I think what is being expressed and I, what I'm getting from you and I really understand where you're coming from is that there is a preference from women that we want a man to be a certain way and there's a preference from men that they want women to be a certain way. And he's communicating what that is from the masculine side. So there really is no room for argument because he's just saying that's what it is. And we're just like, and this is what it is from our side. Okay. Let's exactly. go on to the next point. That's why. What okay. else you have? That's tonight. fine. That's Let's why go. it's both opinions at the end of the day. Because well, there it is could no... be based in whatever science and facts and it's not data. Based on shit. You don't know. We don't know what data. No, it's gonna... We don't know what data this is based on because there are studies about these things, <laughs> and I don't know. I haven't read them. I don't know the research. I don't know the statistics. But I'm gonna trust that he does because he's very strong in his stance shit. on this. I don't mind. Because it seems that he's coming from his side, which is the masculine. And we're going to just trust that. And they're right because they're What men. else do you have for us tonight? We're telling you what men want. They're men. They're and right. I, that's why I said he must be right. What else do you have for us tonight beyond this specific never ending? We, we got some videos. That's to all show. they want to talk about, baby. We, we got some videos to show. Yeah, but I, like, I here's the thing. I just want them to prove me wrong as to what. There's no proving yeah, you wrong. wrong. No, How are you going to prove you wrong? I'm trying to prove you wrong. Okay. We got a video reaction to do real quick with Zion. All right, uh, continuing on. So let's print this out real quick. I think like him proving All right, let's wrong, see. Him proving cool. us wrong that we want a man that makes this amount of money or this. I don't. That's care. what I'm saying. It's just like, based on whatever the broke ass guy. Like, oh, he, has, okay. he has his agenda. Don't, don't worry, okay. girls. It's, it's over here. So we got a uh, Instagram post here uh, regarding our man uh, Zion Williamson, and um, it goes, uh, "You really can't trust these girls, man." Once again, Zion got exposed for talking to a female on Snapchat. Keep your head up, King. He's actually a basketball basketball player, a very young, successful um, guy. Um, if you don't know who he is, go Google him. He's pretty uh, popular. Um, and there's some other videos here you could bring Chris. For. So, yeah, he's talking to a girl on Snapchat, and um, he's getting exposed, basically, for hitting her up. So, yeah, that's 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 Live viewers, by the way, right now, guys. So, like the video. Uh, like the, the video. Sub to the channel. Comment. Subscribe below. Uh, all that money will go towards uh, getting my hair back. And uh, that is a new record, That's by the record. way. 15,000 live viewers. New so record. Clearly, really? you guys like the message and enjoy the message. And uh, we'll keep telling, uh, find a good fight for you guys and telling the truth that most guys are scared to talk about because they can't say these things. Yep. Um, appreciate you guys' support. So. I went through the most. It kind of turned me on. The way she licking on my stone. My chains on Ella Freeze. It look like I made a clone. Why did I am? Why are you so handsome? Why are you so beautiful? I'm not. Oh my god, stop. Alright, I almost hung up. You stop saying that you're beautiful. Ew. All right. So uh I guess we can go around the table on that. Okay. What is this? So so question. Exposed conversation. If you date a guy that has success, athlete, I guess rapper, celebrity, would you expose them like this? No. And we'll start. I wouldn't date a rapper or a celebrity. So I guess that's like makes the whole debate moot. Okay. And okay. So regarding the video, is it right or is it wrong? You would say, in your opinion, mm, like her, her exposing him just because um, he's like trying to hit on her. Um, I don't know if there's anything right or wrong about it. I don't think there's anything like yeah. immoral about it. Um, would I do it? No, just because it's my business, but like he put himself out there so i don't know if there's anything wrong with that okay my personal feeling is that what's your personal business should be personal and should be private mm -hmm. so 
a lot of people like there's this girl that I know she's really uh, has like millions of followers and she just roasts her husband all the time publicly on her stories and I just don't think that's very like classy but people are just doing it's kind of like the Kardashians it's like a reality show it's like how can you get the most amount of attention there are those people and then there are other people I think that have like more sacredness around their relationship right and that would be my approach but everybody has their approach all right I mean, if I'm the girlfriend getting cheated on, 100% I want it to be private. That's embarrassing. But if I was on the opposite end, um, I think I would do the same exact thing. Even though she was kind of like instigating it too with the hey, handsome, whatever, and she knows he's in a relationship, or whatever, um, I still would expose him to his girlfriend because, yeah, expose that dog. So you you <laughs> let her know that. A hundred percent. Why? Why would I want her to waste her time? I would want. I would want someone to do the same for me. But as a girlfriend that's getting cheated on, of course, I wouldn't want my business out there. That's embarrassing for me. Okay. That guy's successful, right? You mm -hmm. said. Yeah. I feel like merch. You merch. Um, you put yourself in a position to date someone in the fame, paparazzi. Like everyone knows you. Like you should probably expect to get cheated on. Or have your suspicions on that person mm -hmm. because you're literally putting yourself in that predicament. And you know what? We were talking about this. <laughs> yes, we were. Yesterday. I was taking a shower. I was talking about a little baby and Jada and how he cheats on her. I mean, he's cheated on her in the past, not openly, like they have an open relationship or anything, but he cheated on her multiple times in the past and she's found out publicly. But rappers do that all the time. But I feel like with people that are super famous and they just have access to so many women. That it's literally impossible to say that these famous men like don't cheat unless they're just really loyal and like good people because men are just so impulsive and you know they'll fuck anything you know and so if you're rich and famous and you have all the baddest bitches on your dick like obviously it's impossible to think that they won't cheat so honestly i wouldn't want to date a famous person men of status and, yeah. and uh with money they don't cheat they exercise options what okay yeah. Synonym. Wait, it, you don't think they cheat? It comes with a territory. It, it, like, here's the thing, and uh, and this proves my point even further. What I was saying earlier, a man that has sex with a lot of women has to bring value to the world to some degree. The reason why little baby is able to have sex with all these women, he has money. Where it's easy is because he's brought value to the world as a top tier musician. He's mm -hmm. probably the hottest rapper right now, and a byproduct of his success is female attention and sexuality. Without him him having to really try like that, so. He's brought value to the world and a byproduct of his success is women. And I guarantee you, his wife, to some degree, probably knows and or accepts that he has sex with other women and he's exercising options. But she's number one. But she's number one. Yeah. And this goes back to what I said before. So she's weighing out her options, really. No, no, it's not the same. Because here's the thing. A man can love a woman and still have sex with other women, but it doesn't work the other way around. Mm -hmm. She actually alluded to that earlier. You think so? If a woman loves a man, every other guy is invisible to her. Facts. She's not going to have sex with other men. She's just not. If she's with a man that she truly loves, respects, and admires. But a man can have sex with other women, but still love his wife the same. It's how society has prospered for millennia. Only 40% of men have procreated, whereas 99% of women have procreated. What does that mean? That means that a small minority of the men were having sex with all the women. So women had to understand an uncomfortable reality is, is that if you have a high status man, more than likely, you're going to have to share him sexually. You might not necessarily get his emotion, you, you, you might not necessarily get his emotional validation, whatever it is, but men love far differently than women do. And a part of the way men love is through providing resources, protection, and care. A way a woman loves is sexual exclu exclusivity, which is why a woman's virginity is so important to men. So all men so you So you think, yes. So you think in a perfect relationship, a woman Pretty should much. be exclusively okay. for a man and the man should be able to have sex with okay. whoever he well, so let's, pleases. Well, I'll ask you a personal in an question. Ultim, like in the perfect relationship. If you're in a relationship, can you have sex with other men? No. You can't, right? Exactly. You well, said it guys earlier. can, but guys and can. my but man can. can't. 100%. But guys cannot. I That's will break so up with him. Up. Then you won't have a girl okay. anymore. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> you're, you're, missing, you're missing the point. What I'm trying to say is, is that if you step out on him and have sex with another man, you no longer love, admire, and respect him. Facts. If he has sex with another woman, he is still capable of loving you. But that's, you can't measure yeah. that. Hold on. You don't know that. Think about it, right? Before you break up with a guy, you've already thought about it in your head. You know what? I'm off, I'm off of this guy. I'm off of him. I'm talking to the next guy. 
if a guy is going to cheat on you, it's just like this. He doesn't premeditate. You guys think about it way beforehand. You know what? This guy's not anymore. Attractive. I'm not I'm not into him anymore. It's done. It's over. Months months before you actually break up with him. Why is that? Because you disconnected from him emotionally. Guys just go and smash and that's it. But that's no still fucked up, yes or no? That's, that's fucked up reality. to our mental health. But it's fucked up, yes it's or no? Reality. And no woman is going to stay in that. But is it fucked up, yes or no? I mean, it is reality. Someone. But is it fucked up, yes or no? I'm my, just asking a question. Reality is amoral. My opinion, it's fucked up. You irrelevant. think it's right. It's fucked up. It is reality. Hey. Look, look, I could say the sky is it's blue. That's not up. fair. But guess what? The sky is fucking blue. I, I can't change that. We're just saying reality is, this is how it is. L- ladies, You might not like it, but that's what... That's reality for you. Not That's not all men. You guys are generalizing an entire Ge- population. Generalizing, generalizing is how the world operates. We're not arguing with you that men cheat. We're just simply telling you that men can cheat while still loving their woman. Yep. But it doesn't okay, work the other way around. I mean, some to cheat no, on not even. a girl. Like, because that's, that's, so I'll that's, that's literally case specific. If a guy specific. does it behind your back without telling you up front that like, this is what he might do, I, I mean, can understand that. what should and could So are if two he told things. us he cheated, it's okay. No, if he's saying to you, look, I'm with you, but I'm going to do my thing. And you are you cool with it? Okay, that means they're not really dating; they're sharing each other. No, That's no, no, a whole different. <laughs> Literally, no, it's no, an open they're relationship. together, okay. but he's letting her know up front, "Yo, this is who I am. I got options. Open it's what it is." But if it's like, "Oh, I'm only gonna be with you," send it behind your back, then that could be kind of scum. Okay, then yes. Listen, I think. And at the end of the day, to also the... understand that there is actually a third category that we are not currently talking about tonight yet, but I want to just mention it, which is the evolved human. Because we're operating under some old, old paradigms. Tradition, a lot of that's dying. We kind of understand that, right? The marriage paradigm, the like roles, the like the woman's in the kitchen. All these old paradigms, they, they've been playing out for thousands of years. They've been evolving slowly. Some of them didn't evolve at all in certain cultures. But overall, throughout history, we are slowly evolving. And then there is a, a, a group of people that I'm going to call conscious people i'm going to call awake people i'm going to say that they are actually a little bit different than the generalizations we've been making tonight and so i think that that's why everybody's specifically these girls are having a little bit of a hard time because i'm saying with with the paradigms that you guys are sharing is because there is there's this middle ground that where feminism had to fight really hard to try to have equality. And then we had that whole feminism movement and that turned everything upside down because then the old paradigm where the woman was in the kitchen no longer exists in our society. Mm -hmm. And now marriage doesn't even really operate properly. And most people are not getting married in America anymore. And people are having less and less children because people are overall confused about gender roles and actually how relationships should work Mm. and so we're we're drawing upon some of tradition and we're trying to piece it together with the future idea of what it could be and then some of the stuff that's happening now which is like the social media nudity and like all of this kind of uh confusion around the sacredness of union and so the conversation could be i think expanded and a lot more enjoyable if we understood that There are old paradigms being spoken about. There are traditions being spoken about. There are uh, current current realities on social media that are definitely destroying relationships. I'm not going to argue. I think a lot of that sexuality is destroying relationships. I was actually living with a celebrity couple in L.A. And uh, the guy, he was super famous. um, So he didn't need any fame you know so he didn't even he wasn't even on social media hardly he didn't want to be on there but his fiance wanted she was like fame hungry because somebody who never had popularity or fame has this fame hunger sometimes and she wanted to put nude pictures on instagram and he's like why do you need to do that we have millions of dollars we have a mansion we have everything like why do you feel the need and she's like i just want to be able to do whatever i want so it's like sometimes there's this like uh this like rebellion against people telling you what to do and that means like i can wear a bikini if i want even if does it really matter if you had every single thing that you needed and wanted including your husband and mansion and millions of dollars in the bank would you still put the bikini picture out would it matter that much and i think that's what these guys are trying to say but you're depending on a man for everything but that's that's (laughs) it's not about that let's say that was your millions of dollars i'm not talking about where the money's coming from i'm just saying what if you had every single has everything and then no i'm saying that was just in that example of that that couple but i'm saying in your example it could be your money who cares i'm saying what if you just had all the money you had everything you need and would you still put the bikini picture out i personally i'm not saying i wouldn't because it's part of our society that that's what people do but i think where they're coming from is they're saying 
but why do you need to? And it's an it's an honest question. It's an honest question that I can understand. And I've asked myself because I don't need to. I don't sexualize myself. I grew up in a family. My parents were somewhat nudists. Like we didn't even wear clothes hardly. Like we it wasn't there wasn't this modesty. And so when you come into societies and there's like tremendous amounts of modesty and some of that comes from the Quaker uh, puritanical, you know, tradition that came from religion. A lot of that was indoctrinated. And there are cultures in Africa, they don't wear clothes. I'm sure you've seen those indigenous women with no top on and all the beaded necklaces. And that's beautiful. And it's honored and it's revered in those societies. And in our society, women are sexualized if they're seen without a top, whereas in African indigenous cultures, it's seen as sacred and beautiful and the wise woman do that. So it's very much a lot of confusion right now on earth and especially amongst this pandemic but what i see that people are waking up and this conversation i think could become a lot more enjoyable for everybody is if instead of arguing over what you think and what you feel it's and where right the, well it just feels like it's a never ending it's been it's been like because they two think hours. they're right we think we're right no so i know that's what i'm saying that's why it's called an argument but debate. i'm just saying like because because we're all coming from whatever background you're coming from and you have your right to your opinion of course and he has a lot of facts and statistics that he's coming from but all of this can be pushed aside a little bit and we could open the door to something that could be a much more beautiful idea which is like what does a conscious relationship look like what is a conscious i actually currently have tons of friends who have conscious relationships which means like you know what I love you because I love your soul and has nothing to do with your bank account. It doesn't matter what you put on Instagram because we have this soul connection that is so deep and so true and so ancient that maybe I even feel that I knew you in a past life and that we came into this life together to do this life together because we have a mission together and that actually beyond even what you look like, what your bank account is like and what you do on social media, like that's all some external storyline but like the truth of our connection is so much more deep and real than that and none of the other story elements are going to affect that kind of connection so that's what's called a conscious relationship and they do exist it's not as common but i wanted to bring it into this conversation because i know that there's 15,000 people that are interested in relationship conversations and i think that this is where we need to evolve to is where you actually connect on a soul level with your partner and you see beyond all of these other factors. And yes, it's important for the man to make money. It's important to have a home and food. But at the end of the day, it's that deep soul connection, I think, okay. more than anything. Okay, uh, um, that was a lot you just said. And I, I got to say, I got some, so many questions right now. But yeah, I, there's some things I disagree with. On okay, that. I want to hear yeah. that. Uh, yeah. But, but did, what first, did you want to read some? Uh, just real quick. Yeah. Uh, do you mind us doing the clip channel? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's do it real quick. Okay, guys. guys. Uh, we got fourteen thousand eight hundred fifty-six of you guys in here right now. Fifteen thousand. It keeps flowing in between. Guys, do us a quick favor. Only two hundred uh subs away from hitting a hundred thousand on the clips channel. Help us hit it. Go ahead, click that red button. Subscribe to our clips channel. Help us hit a hundred thousand because as you guys know, we're, we're almost a lot there, of man. From everywhere nowadays, and we're gonna keep talking the. We're gonna keep telling the uh, you know, telling the truth about things regardless of how. You know, it might make people feel or attack that we get, whatever it is, because there's very few platforms that talk about these uncomfortable truths. Uh, so guys, help us like do the it video. on air right now. Help open us up a new tab. Sub to the channel. Support us, guys. Fresh and fit clips, guys. Open up another tab. Just subscribe to it. You guys are going to be able to see seven to 15 minute clips from the best parts of the podcast, two to three hour podcast. You can go ahead and get the clips uh, in a bite sized portion, man. Guys, and you can find it just going on. We our are channel. only 80 away. Guys, 80 away. real quick, man. Hit sub to the channel. Support us. Hit subscribe. We're losing hair here. For you guys. Yeah, facts. <laughs> Please, guys. So, um, cool. okay. So you brought up uh, the, the conscious relationships. Now, um, and we talk about it on this podcast all the time that... Uh, Wait, you just hit 100K. Oh, nice. Yo, shout out to you on the chat, man. Appreciate it, man. Thank you, guys. Thank you, fellas. 100K. All Thank right. you. Plaque on the way. Thank you, guys, so much. Thanks, for guys. For real, man. Thank you, guys. You we did it. Um, but we'll keep getting, giving you guys this content that you guys like. So uh, you were talking about a conscious uh, relationship. My only point of contention with that is... I've always said on this podcast, social constructs don't adhere to reality. And what I mean by that is a conscious relationship is something that is pretty much a social construct. And it sounds good on paper. Hey, let's just be together because of our spirits, because we're going to vibe or whatever. But this type of rhetoric is extremely dangerous to men. It benefits women, but it's because, and I'll, and I'll explain here in a second. The reason why it benefits women is because 
women have the privilege of being pursued. So since you have the privilege of being pursued, you are you also get the added privilege of being able to let things come to you, let things flow, let things happen. Men don't get that privilege. We have to make things happen. And for a man to put in his head, okay, well, let me just go with the flow. Let me just see what happens. Whatever it is, this passive nature, it doesn't work for men because men have to operate in a fact-based reality when it comes to sex and relationships with women. It's not because Hold up. Oh, I just God. wanted to say that. He's talking. Okay. Continue. Okay. So, um, so what I mean by that is men have to create their value first before women even look their way. And since men have to live in a fact-based reality, they got to know from a young age, you have to make money. You have to get in the gym. You have to self-improve. A byproduct of your success is women. But for, for you know, to have this ideology, hey, it's, it's okay. We're going to be spiritual. Uh, you, you know, your money, it should matter to some degree, but not really. Like, we're going to love each other for each other. And what we talk about this on, on this podcast is women love conditionally and women love opportunistically. As awful as that sounds, they love opportunistically. Men tend to love idealistically. A man that is a self-made millionaire will date a woman that works at McDonald's. But a woman that's a self-made millionaire won't even look at a guy at McDonald's as a potential mate. Mm -hmm. So guys have to know the uncomfortable truths that women love conditionally and opportunistically, and they must become first to get the sexual access. I know it sounds good on paper to say, let's be spiritual. I'll take you for how you are, whatever it is, but that's not real. And especially in the West, where we have a pronounced importance on income, social status, et cetera, men are not going to benefit from that rhetoric. Women can because women are the selectors. You guys can sit back and the best guy that comes to me, hey, you know what? This guy makes $500,000 a year or this guy makes this amount of money or this guy, this guy's met certain prerequisites first. Now we can be spiritual. But you see how that can be destructive to men? Whereas they have to live in a fact-based reality to get sexual access. Women don't. Would you say well, what I'm thinking, is, what I was saying is that um, in the conscious relationship realm, it doesn't mean that you don't have money or I'm not suggesting that you don't still try to make a life for yourself to mm -hmm. be attractive in that way. What I'm saying is that when you do find someone that you're attracted to, that the dynamic is a little bit different than these traditional roles, which mm -hmm. is the, the tradition was, OK, you're in the home. We're having the children. You're taking care of that. And I'm, I'm bringing home money. That happens less and less. I think more and more women are bringing in some of the income, at least at least some of it, if not half, you know, yeah. nowadays. Right. And I think women want to actually women want to do stuff with their life and, and have their own money because they want to have freedom. So it's not uh, the, the spiritual thing aside. What I meant was the connection is what I meant is that, for example, let's say you we were together let's say yeah. you had your your whole career was rocking you were doing well financially and we were attracted to each other and everything was going well but then something happened to you and you lost all your money but we were married and i loved you and i could provide for us and i was able to take to do that mm -hmm. like that's kind of like conor mcgregor that was the story with him and the girl like you know his mm -hmm. story right so he he was fighting and he was working his way up in his career and she believed in him and she took care of them until he made it and then when he made it now he's like i don't know billionaire i don't know how much he makes but anyway he's doing really well at this point mm -hmm. but there was that that they had what i would consider a conscious relationship because she believed in him before he was big mm -hmm. you know and m many times that's a good example i'm not ex I'm not suggesting all conscious relationships start that way. I'm just yeah. saying this is a good example of one where it wasn't dependent upon what he was able to do or provide for her. She saw in him and they had a connection that was so deep that it didn't matter. It didn't matter that he wasn't there yet. She saw the potential of him or whatever, and she stuck by him. That's okay. just like one tiny little example. And it's I, not like and I get where you're coming from. Common situation. I, I would argue that's an exception to the rule. Right. But. The point is, is that women have serious contention with being a breadwinner in the family, especially long term. They might accept right. it for a bit on the premise that the guy has ambition and that he's eventually going to take over as the breadwinner. But women aren't built to lead and or provision for men long term. And exactly. we have the stats to show it as women have earned more and more money and become more and more successful and rose the ranks. Divorce has increased with it. Mm -hmm. And not only that, women are incapable in, on a balance of probabilities of dating down socioeconomically. It is what it is, but men are okay with that. So I'm not saying women shouldn't have careers and make money or whatever, but what I am saying is that 
that's a destructive rhetoric to have for men because men don't get the privilege of being pursued. We have to create our value first. For a man to even get in this relationship, this conscious relationship, whatever, he's got to rise to a certain level. And what we don't want guys to think is that there isn't a burden of performance because there is an invisible burden of performance on men, whereas, whereas there isn't necessarily one on women. If a woman is successful and has a career, it's great. No problem with it. But it doesn't necessarily make her more attractive to the opposite gender for having said career. But, but I a think man, for however, women, what makes what, what what do you say makes a woman attractive then? OK, it's the things that society doesn't typically talk about. Young, fertile, attractive, fit, feminine and submissive. It's just that men are shamed for saying these things because these go against the feminist ideals of being strong and independent. There's nothing wrong with having your career and making money. I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is that you're not going to necessarily become more sexy to a man for having a career. In other words, a man that's a high earner and has a career and his ambition is an assertive is not the same as a woman that has the same because men look for different things in women. Attraction is not symmetrical. It right. is not. It is asymmetrical. So it's just that men don't say these things because if I say these things, what does it say? Well, you want a woman in the kitchen. You're a misogynist. You don't want women to have power, blah, blah, blah. It's not that. It's that men want peace. Women that make money, that are assertive, that are dominant, tend to have certain characteristics that are not good for a long-term relationship because there always has to be one leader. That's why I always laugh when people say I want an equal partnership or I want to be a partner with my man. It doesn't operate that way. There always has to be a defined leader. leader and the woman, for her to be in her feminine energy, she's got to feel that she's with a man who's better than her. So for I her, wouldn't say better, but what would you say? That's a leader? Well, What is better? To you. He's yeah. have, he has to make more money than her. He needs to be stronger than her. He needs to be more confident than her. More he masculine needs to be, than her. Ex- so yes, that's a better way. So of a woman right? more I mean, masculine than her, that not better than well, her. Well, than women her. date up. But I'm saying better in what traditionally regard. in income, in height, Financial. in strength. These in are finances. the masculine traits. Okay, but but that is still. I mean, we can argue semantics all day, but a woman does never seeks for equal. She always seeks above. I think that what's what's being confusing is that when you're saying above or below, as if there is an above or below, what we're talking about is income, right? You're talking about. I mean, we can talk about income, but to, but I would say to provide. Yeah, the ability to provide, the ability to protect, the ability to provision. Women want a, a being a male who's superior in all these aspects to herself. Right in the masculine. See, those are considered masculine traits to provide to protect and to be able to be the leader. Those are the masculine traits. Of course, a woman is looking for a man and, that's more masculine than her. And Definitely. those are more important traits because what are feminine traits? We're nurturing, we're supportive, blah, blah, blah. But obviously that's inferior to the masculine traits you're talking about because men are better than women, right? Is what you wait, just said. Wait, I don't think that's what he was saying. That's not, that's what, not what I said. You, 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 can you stop? Yeah, can you stop doing that? You're saying women are inferior. No, no, no. You're 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 listening to parts of it, and then you basically take what you want, and then you spit it back out out of context in some kind of fashion to make me look stupid. I mean, if you have that low insecurity, then I'm fine. What was that? Just like you do to us. When did he do that? When did I do that? Multiple times. You take what you want, the anecdotes you want, like we were talking about before with the women being hoes or whatever. You take the parts you want about exactly what we said, how we talked about. Um, having a specific like income um, that we expect for in a, a partner, you feel me? Because you specifically asked for that. You're anecdoting specific anecdoting? parts. Yes. Can you you're spell s- it? No, I mean, I mean, here, here's the thing. A n e c d o t. You're, 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 you're. Um, um. I mean, we're we're not even going to entertain that because you can't even articulate your argument. But going back to what you were saying, um, the the point is, is that women want a man. Who's more masculine? That's what you meant. But you were saying better. But I think what you're saying is more dominant, more masculine. Those are those are what women are looking for, not someone who's better. Better but than her. In a better hold position on, on. financially. No, no, no. In a better, better position financially. Better than her in traits. Because yeah. here's the thing. Men are better than women at certain things, and women are better than men at other things. Right. There's yep. nothing wrong with saying a man is better and or superior to a woman in this regard. We have this crazy world now where we don't like to accept biological fact because it makes us feel bad. For a man to say, men are physically superior to women sounds degrading. No, it is not. Because no, it I don't is think a that bi- sounds degrading. It's a biological fact. Women want a man 
who is better than them at a bunch of different traits. Now, That's women. That's the distinction that she wanted you to make. She wasn't yeah. saying that. Because when you just say the blanket statement better than that, then right. it's like, why would I want someone better than me? But yeah, more capable of providing the financial stability and the. Which is better than. The strength. Which yeah, is better the than. The physical. We're, we're arguing semantics here. Which yeah, is better than. Exactly. We, but it's we, important we, because you have an audience of people listening to you and like words matter. You know, like I studied this in school, like communication, the word, the exact word especially many people speak English second language as well. So they're going to extract the definition from whatever their context. Women want a man that is better than them. But that is a fact. <laughs> that can do more. Maybe provide better more. Yeah. more See, listen, if you guys don't like, if you guys don't like the wording, that's fine. I'm not going to change it. Women want a man who's better than them. Now, does that mean that he's better than her in everything? No, but he's better than her in a lot of things that tend to, that are very important for the relationship to work. Leadership, financial income, strength, provisioning, security. What you're saying. She's better. Yeah, those are masculine traits. At nurturing the child, being socially receptive, what's what's going on, being socially aware. Women are socially superior to men. You know, it's just that these this is the truth. Women date up. It's they don't the, women don't seek their equal, they always seek we're above not them. We're arguing that though. We're not arguing like, guys that. Do you guys are thing. arguing the, I think the that everybody really this was actually statistically students. proven that that like actually most people are attracted to someone that's a few notches out of their league. And this is there was actually there was statistics about that kind of like this is one of the issues with dating is that what you're calling is dating up is that people generally are attracted to people that are what you call above or better, but like a little out of their league. What was even. the gender of the people surveyed that wanted people above them? I, I would be. It, it wasn't that they wanted. It's just an attraction. Like, they're, like for example, men tend to be attra more attracted to women that are actually like a little too hot for them. Not to say all they won't get that girl, but that's just general. And then women as well do that. But maybe attracted to men who are what they call maybe a little out of their league, maybe financially or whatever you could say, you know, in these different ways. So women are judged on their looks and men on their money. Yeah. Basically, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and that, that's 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 the way the world has worked forever. And, and but the the the, the biggest True. thing is that women date up and don't date down, whereas men are totally capable of dating down. That's the biggest distinction here. I think the problem what is... What do you mean by down? So you're saying like, like women who are what? Less financially secure or less good looking? Like what is the down to you? A man that is a king will gladly marry a peasant and turn her into a queen. But a woman that is a princess will not even look a peasant's way. That's the difference. You don't know. But the peasant it depends. I think that this there are the lots thing. of women that are finding love in many ways. Okay. But I, I think that what you're suggesting is that the women that you are interested in or that you have been surrounding yourself. But if you look at 7.8 billion people on the planet, there's tons of them out okay, there. Okay, let's let's look at statistics then. Um, 90% of alimony is paid from men to women. What does that tell you? Isn't that the legal thing about it because of the kids? But but the, no, child support. But here's the thing. Alimony typically goes to the less earning person. Right. Because women so, so what that means is, is that women are marrying and divorcing men that make more than they do. That's generally true. So so that's what I'm trying to say is that like <laughs> women date up, period. As a matter of fact, I asked you guys your standards earlier. All of you guys described the man in the top 5% pretty much. So, I mean, it is what it is. We're not knocking you for your preferences. I'm simply saying women date up and we have stats to show it. 90% of alimony is paid from men to women. There's because no the argument man there earns more money. So that proves my point that women date up. I know you guys have semantics like, well, that doesn't necessarily mean he's better. I'm not saying men are better than women at all. Let me make that very clear. Yeah. I'm not saying men are better than women from, uh, you know, uh, from like a civil liberty standpoint or yeah. human sta or hu human standpoint. I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is that men are better than women in a lot of important traits that keep the relationship going because he is the leader and he is supposed to be the head of the household and he's responsible for that woman's uh, supports her livelihood, everything else like that. The thing is, is that men, right, don't have authority anymore. You know what I'm saying? They used to have the authority and had responsibility with it, but now they just have responsibility with almost no authority. Okay. What do you mean? What What do you think took away the the authority? Well, you know, feminism, feminism. has come in and and, oh. and made things equal, which is fine. Well, I'm not going to knock that. What do you think about the Me Too but... movement? Don't you think they lost a lot of it by being caught with their pants down in that way? 
we're going to have a full discussion on yeah. on that uh, next week, actually, where we're going to talk about the Me Too movement and uh, the hysteria of, um, uh, I'm going to call it grape culture because we're on YouTube. But I don't want to get into that right now because we had a dis- full discussion on it yesterday and we're going to actually talk about it next week. Yeah. But um, the point of the matter is, is that women date up, men are okay with dating down. And I get your conscious relationship, but what I'm saying is that men shouldn't operate under that ideology that, hey, let's just go with the flow. Yeah, I'm not suggesting that. What I was saying is that once you do find somebody who you connect with, that that from there, that requires to have this type of connection, whereas the old paradigms of the tradition are crumbling and they're no longer really applicable. There are still lots of people in the old traditional ways. Yeah, like you see giant Muslim cultures, like many, many people, billions of people within those traditional structures. But in the American society, in the general public, that old, the old traditions and the old paradigms are crumbling and statistics show that because yeah they're crumbling and here's on the on the decline and children are on but the i would decline. argue that that traditionalism is what is how society continues to propagate itself correctly so here's the thing right now we have high crime rates single motherhood is high divorce rates are high women are reporting the lowest levels of happiness and fulfillment ever recorded i think humans not just women no women have the highest women women because after the pandemic statistics show that even children have the highest level of suicide now than ever so i think what you know just right now on earth it's actually quite bad for everyone yeah but i would say but here's the thing as the, the the biggest thing to take away from this as as feminism has uh continued to evolve and women have become more and more liberated they've reported lower and lower levels of happiness and fulfillment and one in four women nowadays is walking around on antidepressants or uh, antidepressants or anti-anxiety medication. Not men, though. And like that's what I'm saying. Well, Why are you only talking about women? About men. You're no, just I'm just asking. Is it, is it the same? Can I, can I, can this, I please? Can, can I please make my statements? Go ahead. So, um, is there a problem? No, it's, just, it's not a problem. It's just I'm kind of getting frustrated on the fact that like. You're attacking women and everything that we do, but there's nothing wrong with men. I'm stating men. a fact. And when we give okay. you a response, you're offended. Okay, like, where's your fact to refute like my we claim? Can't I'm say telling anything, you facts. And then you're just right. Yeah, like, you just, get offended. Your podcast, like, yeah, ladies, right ladies, ladies. Um, you're, you're, constantly, wait, wait, hold on, you're constantly interrupting. Uh, and I mean, I'm stating facts right I now. And I'll, quiet the whole time. No, but hold on, no, ladies, ladies. On a podcast, well, she asked a question to me, and I was answering that f- female female happiness has went down and we have studies to prove that but ladies on our podcast we hold men accountable too we say hey guys hit the gym stop being a fucking loser and i'm going to talk about the men as well i'm going to talk about the men here in a second skinny guys so ladies just mine go ahead yeah so i'm going to talk about the men as well so just going back to what i was saying so women have reported lower levels of happiness right it is what it is since they've been liberated from feminism and a big and actually they surveyed what the least happy demographic of human being is in the united states and they found out that it is a woman that's 42, unmarried, without children, and in a career. And what we found is that from the data, and we did a full episode on this on how feminism has filled many women, is that a career and income and status doesn't necessarily fulfill women to the same degree that men do. Women tend to do, not all, but women tend to derive pleasure and uh, fulfillment from children and their family. And as a matter of fact, they've, there's a bunch of studies that show that when women left the workplace because of COVID, mm-hmm. right, out of Ireland or Scotland it was, of them left the workplace to be with the family when they asked them to return. And most of them did not want to come back because women don't derive the same pleasure from success and income like men do. And that's okay. I'm not saying that makes them inferior. I'm just saying that we're very different and that's okay. And we need to embrace these differences instead of trying to make these ambiguous claims that, hey, men and women are the same and they can do everything that they, a woman can do everything a man can do. And it just doesn't work that way, man. We're just not the same. We're built differently. And and that's fine. We're built to complement each other and work together not to be adversaries, but you know what feminism has done is it's taught women to become better adversaries and not be um, not complement a man's life, but actually create issues because you want to compete with him, and that that's just not how things work. So, in tradition, and here's the thing: we don't have data on how society works with this modern uh, it's still new. situation we have. It's still fairly new, but yeah. I'll tell you this: most criminals, most rapists, most um. The generous drug addicts, etc., they come from single mother households. So we know for a fact that when a father isn't in the house, it causes issues. There's a bunch of reasons for that. But we do know with traditionalism, the United States was built upon the nuclear family in the 1950s. A man going to work, a woman staying home, raising the children, two-parent households. 
That's how the United States became the economic superpower that it is today. So now with men, we've got to hold men accountable too. Yes, men are not earning as much money as they used to. Men are dropping out of college. Men are the lowest rates of college attendance. Avoiding college. Uh, avoiding college. Men aren't making uh, as much money as their prior predecessors. Women are out earning men in a lot of major cities. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But what I'm saying is that there's consequences to male inadequacy. There's not consequences to female inadequacy, though. And what I mean by that well, is... Well, the consequence to female inadequacy is a declining population. Yes, but um, but they're not. But here's the thing: like we champion women for being this way. We don't champion men for being that way. If a man is a loser, fat, <laughs> obnoxious, whatever it is, there's there's not social conventions that make him feel better for his inadequacies. If a man is a loser, society reinforces that he's a loser by him not getting sex, by being shamed, by being fat, by being made fun of and ridiculed. Which you know what? I'm more for bullying, but we don't have those same conventions in place for women. If a woman is fat, annoying, crass, obnoxious, rude, whatever it is. Love your curves. Love your curves, girl. It's okay. He's insecure. Small dick energy. We have so many conventions to coddle women and not make them understand that there are consequences to your bad decisions as well. Earlier. That's not necessarily true because I have a lot. Uh, just to say two okay. things. Sure. You described me in your the unhappiest women. Although I will say I was inducted into the Stanford happiness hall of fame. Okay. You might be an exception to the rule. I, (laughs) (laughs) so being single and all these things, but I think because I derive my happiness from being of service to humanity Mm -hmm. and I do that. And that is kind of like the same energy that you get from having a child. Um, and I still do want to have children actually, but the point is that I want to make is that women are, um, I don't know the word, but uh, kind of barraged for not having children as well. And there, there is like a whole culture around that where if they're what you're calling inadequate, which would be a woman who's choosing not to have children. A lot of people are choosing not to have children. Now, women are choosing not to have children because they just don't want to like Adriana here, you know, and it's not um, like that something's wrong with her. Right. It's just that she doesn't want to. But like there are people out there that will shame you for not having children and and actually feel that there's something wrong with women if they don't want to but nowadays more and more more of them are not i would argue most women want children it's just that they might not realize it until later on in life no i'm saying like i have a lot of friends like in my even age category that are just totally decided they don't want to it's just a whole movement i don't understand even why but i think that more and more just not want i mean that's that's a small percentage most women if you surveyed them and asked them they would they would want children they want children in their family. When you say female inadequacy, is that what you would mean? Like ch- the the childbearing aspect? Because when you said male inadequacy, it had to do with the money and the yeah, that aspect. Yeah, not performing on his end. So would the female inadequacy be defined by not having children and not being that that aspect? Yes, I would argue that a woman's value a lot of the time is determined by what caliber of man can you attract and retain. But not to do with the children aspect. Well, and and children are a byproduct of that of having a of having a, a family. Got it. Because there's data to show that women to be <laughs> women are far happier and fulfilled when they have a family. Statistically, yeah. yeah. But I'm just saying, like for there's example, exceptions to the rule. We have, a, we have a woman here, and she decided she's young. She may change her mind. I'm not going to say if you will or not, but I'm just saying. But at this moment, she said she doesn't want to have children. Now, in that sense, I do have a lot of friends like her. So, and they're much older than her, like 40 year olds that are decided they don't want to have children they're very happy with that maybe they're with a man that already had children so he's fine but here's the thing exceptions to the rule don't make the rule you know we can say hey you know she might not want children or anything but an overwhelming majority of women do want children in a family but i'm saying i think the reason is because now we have all of these um newly married people that are coming from divorce situations that had children already and they're coming together and maybe they're like yeah i already had children a lot of my friends are with somebody long-term relationship that they already had children with somebody else they Uh don't want to have any more and the girl doesn't want to have any and he already had them so it's perfect that happens quite a lot and i think as we evolve as a a human culture especially in american culture that that's an interesting evolution of what's happening is because so many people are coming together and women tend to date older anyway that they're not having children and the man's happy with that because he already had his right with someone else but that still doesn't change the fact that women want children and well, that's I'm that's what i'm trying to say changing. like they're still yeah i mean they 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 might have fulfilled it earlier on in life but you know and then also we know that two-parent households are critical to a child's you know development uh in a positive light you know versus a single mother household 
I'm just saying it's changing because if you look at statistics, more and more people in America, I'm not saying globally, but in America, more and more people are choosing not to have children. And I don't know why. I think that there is a growing interest in people like she it's called it minority, selfish. Though. She called it selfishness, but it's really just a desire to focus well, it's, on it's, their it's, own life. It's indoctrination from feminism telling women that they can push the clock back. We we tell women that they can they can freeze their eggs. We tell women that they can push back family. They can chase their career and you know hold off on having kids. And and that's a lie. That's a biological lie. Why like, do you say that? Well, a woman's ability to bring children to term drops precipitously after the age of thirty, and then even more so after thirty five. A lot of people have them at forty though, and stuff like Eva Longoria had children at forty. Well, exceptions people don't even have them in forty five and fifty. Okay, but exceptions don't make the rule. And the thing is, is that. When you have a child older later on in life, the, the chances of that child being brought to term in a healthy fashion, slim. You're gonna have That's some miscarriages. The kid, the kids are gonna have they're, they're gonna have true. mental defects. It no, it is there, what it is. There are statistics that show that it is less, but I'm saying, like, okay, here's the reason. Because human uh longevity is extending. So whereas we used to die at 70 on mm -hmm. the average, now people are living 80, 90, 100, even 120. So actually like these windows of time are sliding in a different that, direction. That is true. That that life expectancy uh, uh, life expectancy is going up, but we got to remember having children is also in, extending. It, 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 it's, it's not it's extending. Not. That's the problem. No, yeah. it that is. Life ex you guys got to remember that living and thriving are two different things. You need to have children when you're thriving, when you're young, strong, and able to bear the children and bring them to term in a healthy fashion, which most of the time is between the ages of, you know, 18 to before 30. And then after 30, I'm not saying you can't have children after 30 or 35, but what I am saying is the probability goes up that that child is going to have birth defects. People are having birth defects now more even as young age. And a lot of it's coming from because um, I don't know if you've seen the statistics around autism, but children being born with autism, it was something like one in 25 young uh, bo children were being born with autism. And now it's it's growing to be like one in four. And this is amongst young people who could be in their 20s having children and they're having children that are autistic. And so a lot of this is coming from the food being poisonous mm -hmm. from, you know, as you probably I don't know how much you know about, you know, health and stuff, but like, you know, well, yeah, we have an, a GMO. lot of obese people and people aren't healthy and they don't make yeah. good life decisions. But no, I mean, I'm saying, I'm saying like what's coming into our food and water systems is causing birth defects. <laughs> equally to but we can't ignore the fact that older. that biology is biology and a woman's ability to bring children to term is a very contingent upon her age a woman that is 21 is going to have a far higher likelihood of bringing healthy children to term versus a woman that's 31 it is what I know, it is. but i'm just saying like that is separate and also people in their 20s are also having child children with defects and it's coming from other right. reasons but remember defects can come from any type of that's what i'm saying, I'm yeah. saying but, defects can always be coming and it's a big proportion here's the it's thing a big proportion it of increase children. after 35 for example down syndrome after 35 the probability that your child could be at risk of having down syndrome increases like skyrockets by, by a lot like you have to physically check your child if you are a woman that's pregnant at 35 or up you, they specifically check your child for Down syndrome because that is a high risk pregnancy. I know, but I'm saying like Down syndrome and autism are in the same spectrum and people are having children with autism all the time right now at age 20. The percentage right. it's goes not, up when you're older. Right. Yeah, the but age. the percentage but goes the, up when you're older is, is the saying. point we're trying to make. So so basically what you've done is that you've actually even you strengthened the argument even further because now you're saying, well, if you're young, it can still happen. And if you're young and it can still happen, it only gets worse as you get older because now <laughs> the likelihood goes up. <laughs> All I'm saying is that we we operate on probabilities, not possibilities. Is the possibility that a young person can bring uh, a child with autism, uh, you know, from birth? Yes. But does it go down from them being younger? Yes. Compared to them being older, like you're not. If you're gambling, right? Not not to use that example like explicitly, <laughs> but if you're going to gamble, you want to obviously maximize your potential to win while mitigating risk right. correct so as a man going back to what i said there's a reason why men are hardwired to like women that are young attractive and fertile right because it maximizes their ability to ensure their offspring has a healthy strong life when they have a strong genetic partner which right. for a woman is 
youth and fertility. I hate to say it like that, but that's the truth. Just like women want a man who's tall and can provide security, a man wants a woman that's young and fertile so she can bring his children to term. Real quick, super chats, real quick. Yeah, pile up here. And I know you want to say something, so I'll get you next after this. Okay, uh, DM right. Bikinis, underwear, and lingerie, very little, if any, difference between the, the three. Uh, okay, we got Joshua Kimber, $50. You can't argue with women because they argue with feelings. The girl can have 10 boyfriends and zero husbands. Less women are traditional. That's why less women are getting married. No bikinis. Okay. Uh, $50 from Ellie Lefty. Myron isn't against you, ladies. Just listen and try to understand. Don't be so reactive and then speak your mind. Yeah, it is what it is, man. Uh, you guys got to remember that men rarely say these things because it's you're going to get attacked when you say this stuff. So guys just shut their mouths and don't say anything. They just act with their wallets and with marrying women and giving their rings out, uh, which is why marriage rates are in the toilet right now. So PHP, dear ladies, with your modern woman attitude, you will end up dying alone single with no kids in your golden age with body problems. Get ready for cat and dog food. Hope your cat dog is good investment long term. Okay. Chewy. Uh, HH Rivy. Interesting how lady to the right didn't get interrupted a single time, but when a man expresses explains a truth that you're not capable of coming to on your own, since you're not a man, all you do is interrupt. Girl to the right will get four kids in marriage. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, another two homeless three or fours who don't even uh, super chat, who uh, don't even have developed minds and whose mentors are city girls and Cardi B and Doja Cat. Stop embarrassing yourselves in front of 12k people and listen. Modern throwing pearls to the uh, to the trough. Thank you. No. Uh, Real Ninja uh, Ninga <laughs> Association. Uh, Myron, the two girls closest to you want to be for the streets. S say, let them kick them out. They childish as fuck. LMAO. Uh, you guys have anything you want to say back to these, these guys? No, it's okay. I People don't have care. their opinions. Okay. Seahawk, 100 bucks. I'm sure X dumped her solely because she was obsessed with him and not the attitude and behavior. She's just playing to the world right now. <laughs> Can't imagine what happened behind closed doors. Goddamn. Keep Hot assuming. Hot boy, low key, 50 bucks. Short next to Myron. Stop the cap, please. I saw your IG. It's not just a bikini pics. You and that motherfucker, motherfucking gripping the yiddies and poking your buns out. Nips halfway out of the bikini, top, laugh my ass off. Just say you like the tension and stop the emotion. Oh, shit. Is that me? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. You yeah. saw But too. my titties were not, like, my nipples are not out. My vagina is not out. He's so exaggerating. I'm not worried. Okay. Big Big I, think, I think the point he's trying to say is that you overtly sexualize yourself. Yeah. Is what oh, he's trying to say. But I don't. But thank you. Whatever. Big meal. 50 bucks. I mean, it's a fact. You have it on your Instagram, it's which is open, fact. correct? It's not a fact. Okay, hold on. Are you on Instagram right now? Yeah. Is your profile open? Yeah. Okay. Do you have pictures of yourself? In bikinis. In bikinis. Yes. Okay. So the conclusion from these three facts are you are sexualizing yourself facts. on the internet. Not facts. Opinion. Opinion. But I'm gonna have my opinion. You have your opinion. I mean, if there's sexualizing yourself means looking good, then I guess. <laughs> there's nothing wrong with what I'm saying, and there's nothing wrong with what you're nothing saying. I'm wrong just, with looking we're good. just talking. Here's the thing: I never said sexualizing yourself is wrong. I simply said sexualizing yourselves has consequences. That's all I said. Okay. Whatever. I don't think I'm sexualizing myself like how you're. Okay, so it. The, at what realm are you actually sexualizing yourself? Once you're fully nude? Mm, yeah. Okay. Okay. That might be your interpretation of it, but to most men, on a balance of probabilities, and that's your being, interpretation. Uh, dre dressing, dress, being wearing almost nothing besides a bikini is sexualizing yourself. No. But okay. Let's continue. Anyways. Okay. Big meal, fifty bucks. Uh, bro, this show and the one from last night just shows women in the West will never understand men. There's a lot of masculinity coming from the two on the left. And Myron, you have the patience of a god. Yeah, it is what it is, guys. Uh, Orlando. Orlando, statistically, two girls on the left are heading on the path to dying alone and yes she's definitely going to need that dog i also see plenty of immaturity in these two listening to you guys from uh street patrol fresh to fit you guys the way hey, awesome man hey Woo! man thank you thanks for duty uh that guy pete you refuse to lose uh i gotta pay another 50 bucks to pay for my mistake and take accountability i am a crappy judge of character lack of social calibration anyway accountability what? ladies <laughs> this is the first time men are telling you what it is just accept it man yeah well they don't want to accept it bro H.H. H. H. Ribby. Ribby. So you understand, when the beginning of your sentence is during the middle of his, that is interrupting. <laughs> Please Google or just look at the woman across from you that have back and forth conversation instead of trying to provoke an argument. That is true. Mm. Uh, ladies on the left, what Myron is saying is 100% backed up by facts and statistics. You're using your opinion to debate him. Facts do not care about your opinions. They're using their opinion. Continue. Read it. Super chat again. 
Okay, so you understand when the beginning of your sentence is during the middle of his, that is interrupting. Please Google or just look at the woman across, across from you. you that have back and forth conversation instead of trying to provoke an argument. All right, let's read it again. Swiss. And then, uh, ladies on the left, what Myron is saying is 100% backed up by facts and statistics. You're using your opinion to debate him. Facts do not care about your opinions. It's simple. If you want a traditional marriage, you have to be a traditional woman, which a traditional woman, whether you guys want to accept it or not, this show does not show her body on the internet. It is what it is. Mr. Still your blocks. Okay. That does not mean that you're a bad person. It just means you're not a traditional woman. Okay. Okay. Canada. Uh, okay, Mr. Steelio Blocks, fifty dollars. Shut your effing mouth and listen for once in your life. Men don't want mouthpieces for wives. There, I said it. What we're all thinking? Yes, I just said that. No, man, all the right. audience is really frustrated with you guys, man. Uh, Rob, fifty dollars because they're donating 50, 50 bucks to say this. Uh, where did y'all find these young girls on the right? They, uh, they literally have no clue what they're talking about. I wanted to hear more from the forty-year-old. She's so beautiful. Please drop the Instagram. It's below, guys. She has the blue check. She's easy to find. Uh, we have it in the description box. Uh, Mustang Salt 749. Dear ladies, what is the benefit of uh, having a modern woman attitude? That hard attitude you're showing only gave men more reasons not to get married with modern women. Hmm. Get a dog and die alone. And here's the thing, guys. Um, we, we've been disagreeing, but we've been having respectful discourse. I pr present my um, my side. She presents hers. We're having a respectful conversation. But you got to be able to let people, you know, give their opinions and state what they want to say. And then, you know, openly let them speak without necessarily interrupting them and get get their, uh, you know, their word out. Yeah, you know, one of the things that they say the key to a successful relationship is to know how to argue. If you can argue well, which means to agree to disagree, but not it's not you against them. It's you and them against the conversational argument, whatever that is, so that you can find some middle ground and mm. then come back to love together. I would change argument to communication. Well, exactly. Well, it's been argument. There's here. some wisdom it's there been for argument you. Here, real quick, shout out to Jay Smooth that's hosting us on Twitch as well. Uh, hey, shout out to him. Thank you, bro. Jay Smooth. Energize C. Fifty dollars. Modern day women and every weak man that enables their behavior will never never admit that they have things twisted when it comes to the relationship between men and women in the Western world. It is what it is. Uh, Mind boss self made. Hundred dollars. The men that that they would want not take them serious. I think he means they would want him to take them serious for a relationship. If they are showing too much flesh on social media, it's the beta male simps that keep them relevant. And those are the ones they don't want. So in other words, what he's saying is that the guys that you guys would want would want a woman that respects herself and doesn't necessarily sexualize to a degree. Mm -hmm. You have something for that? No, it's like if I say something. Sure, go ahead. You're going to say something. No, so go ahead. Say, say what you want to say. I believe that's true, honestly. <clears throat> I mean, in the end of the day, Every woman wants to be able to say, I get to do whatever I want, but there is some respect required in order to have a real relationship, which is if they respect you, they're going to see you differently. Right? Okay. And that respect can come from, hey, she's not showing it to everybody else, just me. It's not even showing. It's bikini pictures. You guys are like, doesn't matter. It, it does matter. No, I know. Like, let's say, okay, if I find the right man and he tells me not to post any more bikini pictures, then okay. Like, that's fine. But if I, I can post whatever I want to post. You can. Like, you're it's single. just you're no bad. one. I'm not suggesting you But can. when you're in a relationship, yeah. Okay. If your boyfriend, if your husband doesn't want you to post things, then I understand that. But right now, it does not matter what you post. What Wait, he's but, saying but hold on, is hold you're going to attract Hold on. She said it earlier. I asked a question. If you met a man, a perfect guy for you. He said, delete your Instagram. You said no. Delete my Instagram. That's completely different than posting a bikini picture. It's not a, a requirement. Uh, it's not deleting my Instagram. It's respecting what they want to say. If he's my, like, the one I'm going to be with for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. This isn't deleting a so whole social media page. It's just not posting what he doesn't want me to post. That's two completely different things. Yeah, you still want access, so that's cool. All right. Okay. No, I cool. think I think I think That's the cool. most important thing Access here. I think cool. the most important thing here that you guys might have overlooked is that she's willing to change her course for the right man. So she's she's willing to become traditional for the right guy and get rid of those pictures if he so requests, but he has to rise to a certain level. Is it right, Adriana? It's not rise. To, I get okay. Maybe you're right. Rise to a certain level. Can't make this up, guys. All right, Simon. You cannot. Uh, Simon, Simon, fifty dollars. Bill Gates had mistresses that Melinda knew about. Divorce rates go down the drain. The more money that is involved, facts. Girls on the right are That's gonna get. They're divorcing now. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> They're mm -hmm. divorcing now. 
No, but what he's saying is that as a man makes more income, makes more money, the divorce rates go down. But I'm saying Bezos <laughs> and Bill Gates are both getting yeah, divorced. Those are exceptions yeah. to the rule. Well, his, yeah. his example was Bill Gates, and this was not a true example because they're getting divorced. No, but she, it, no, it's, it's two different things. Two different what, things what, yeah. he, what he's saying is that divorce oh. rates do go down. I think the magic number is right around 300 grand a year, if I'm not mistaken. I have to double check that. But that's when divorces start to go down as far as like women initiating divorce towards men because there's more financial security. But, and most millionaires, male millionaires are actually married anyway. And the reason for that is because women are less incentivized to divorce you if you have provide financial security. But what he's saying is that higher status men have mistresses. It's just a part of what comes with the territory. Yeah. But now they're getting divorced. But so I'm just saying his his next sentence doesn't actually apply to Bill Gates. So well, well, it, it, hold on. We got to keep reading it. He goes, girls on the right are going to get wifed up fast. Girls on the left buy a dog and die alone. Fresh put this in Chewy for me. Chewy. So what he's basically saying is that they'll be the mistresses and not get wifed up is what he's trying to. Well, I know what we're in our saying. 20s. I was just saying, I'm sorry? saying that Bill but Gates we're in our 20s and she's like 40. <laughs> so I, how are we getting? I think I think you're missing the point. Wifed up. No, no, he's he's saying that you guys will be mistresses and not the wife is what he's trying to say. Okay. Bet on that. Okay. Subculture uh, vulture. Uh, subculture bucks. vulture. Super proud of this channel growth. Keep spreading the truth. FYI, white girls, uh, white white shirts X dodge the bullet and Latina on fresh left actually acknowledges new information and gives a response accordingly. Understand the facts before telling us your feelings. Mm. Uh, F the uh Po, po. F the police. Uh, shout out to uh, Ice Cube over here in the house. Women love social media because they love attention. Okay. PHP, once again, uh, what is that currency, man? I got to figure that out. Uh, Philippines. Philippines. Okay. Giomo, Giomo, for the ladies, if you want a guaranteed 100% loyal husband, then get an average beta male. This beta husband will be 100% loyal to you like a child. Good luck taking care of him. You won, ladies. Ooh. That is very true. If you want a man that's going to be pretty monogamous with you men are as loyal as their options i'm very honest about that like guys are as loyal as their you know the hot girls that approach them so yep. if a man has status he's gonna exercise that those options it is what it is um we understand we talk about the uncomfortable male truths too we're not here saying men are saints hell no we say it men are as only loyal as their options motion mark 500 dollars oh shit. oh man that's don demarco let's got it uh, ladies got the iq of romaine lettuce what do you think men are following you on insta for your hair yeah, they love curly hair. He paid five hundred dollars to say that. Shout out to Marshall Mark, man. Shout out to you, Marshall Mark, man, my guy. Yeah. Who's the winner there? Yo, that is that is Joke's hilarious. No, he's he's very wealthy. Nah, nah, he's, no, he I has a lot of money. Yeah. Uh, super super chat. Respect to orange shirt, but I'm African and American. I'm African and African men just want to see bare chest all day and all night. Has nothing to do with being earthy and artistic. Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Karen Singh. Hey, Myron and Fresh. I got a question for um, Dasha. Dashama. Dashama. Are you Indian because your IG has very brown people vibe and the yoga gave it away in yoga? When will, uh, Myron, when will Roger be back? Don't worry, Roger will be back. We'll do an episode <laughs> on real estate again. I'm the least Indian looking person you'll ever yeah, see. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, for <laughs> real. Like, uh, but thank you. Um, PCN, the blonde lady means well. Uh, her input is more useful than the other two ladies, but the statement shows how women are able to view relationships this way, whereas men don't have the privilege to think this way. Men will lose in the end. This is reality. And that's what I was saying before, that men have to rise to a certain level to be even be able to get that benefit of having a conscious relationship. Right. I understand. I agree. Um, so uh, Blast Cap Badger, ask them this. Where does masculinity come from? What is the origin of masculinity? Um Okay. Uh, PCM, $50. The lady in the, he, I think that was for earlier's conversation. Oh, we we're talking yeah. about uh, men and women and yeah. relationships. Uh, the lady in the white top is useless in this conversation. She's unable to articulate an argument. Shame on her. It's okay to disagree, but at least listen to what Myron is saying and then try to formulate an argument that makes sense. She's a troll. You have a rebuttal for that? You're a troll. And it's T-R-O-L-L. <laughs> um, when they type comments, some words are flagged by YouTube, You're so they can't troll. type the whole thing. So, okay, she's or saying you're a trollback. Or the cap. Okay, Diego Osorio. Conscious connection sounds nice, even traditional. Reminds me of my parents. It was possible in the first place because my dad was wealthy and my mom was not posting her ass for other men to see. Then after those needs were met, the deep connection developed. Oh, shit. There you go. It's true. Joshua Kimber. Uh, most countries don't have the marriage problem. It's the Western women that still want women, uh, that still want, want what, what women have wanted 
for thousands of years, but aren't willing to do what most men want for thousands of years. Mm. That's what I was trying to express to you guys, man. A woman's sexuality is supposed to be sacred to that man only. But if you guys... Are we having sex with the internet? What? No. Are we having sex with the internet? Yes or no? Okay. If if uh, if you buy a car, right, and mm -hmm. it says and and, and uh, would you would you like if someone drove it around with it saying for sale on it? I mean, don't people have to drive it around to test drive it? No, no, no. You're missing the point here. If the car is purchased, why is there a for sale sign on it? Because mm, I just bought it. Because they want something better. I have a question. But, okay, but. I have a question, right? Can we pull up your, your Instagram right now? Go ahead. Pull it up. Okay. Guys. No, no, I, I'm dead ass. Are you cool with it? Yeah, I don't care. Chris, can you pull up real quick? It's public for a reason. Everyone gets to see us. She this, wants the attention. There's a picture on here, right? It's not even oh attention. My it's my Instagram. I didn't know you before this. Like, I post whatever I want to post because I feel because... like nothing's wrong with it. My dad can look through my Instagram and be okay with it. I'm not doing anything wrong. Go ahead. Okay. Pull it up. All right. Is it, um, Brianna? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay so... Um. Before we pull that up, you had something? Nothing. I give up on talking. You were very You're adamant about saying something. Me. I'm just gonna what? You're just gonna attack. Attack what? Attack me. Anything the I argument? Say. No, 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 no. It's impossible to have a conversation with you. Argument, regardless. Correction. Because I'm wrong, regardless. I don't Correct. attack you. I attack your argument. Whatever. There's a difference. I'm not attacking you as a person. I'm just attacking your argument because I'm, I'm, with all due respect, your arguments have been asinine. Okay. So have yours. I've provide a data to substantiate my claims whereas you have not but yeah. i think you guys just both have uh, your own opinions i don't think anyone's wrong in this conversation and the data people agree with her people agree with you people okay agree with both there's people. opinion and then there's fact i gave you a fact that men want uh, on a balance of probabilities in general right How, men right. want a woman that the doesn't share is, her sexuality with other men this is a topic We're going in you circles can't, do you feel like their opinion is going to change you by can't the have this argument then no then exactly. stop it <laughs> no 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 their opinion is incorrect though because they cannot but properly there's assess but there are people out there there's no the incorrect or correct opinion, when it comes so like, to this why go into this loop and this hamster wheel if you know it's not going to change because it's very important for them to see <laughs> but they're That's clear because here's the thing no 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 you gotta you gotta remember that that they need they need to see this you know what i'm saying it. there's no correct they don't need to see it on the 16 minute loop no they they, no. they need to see it <laughs> Okay. Okay. So, like I said, if if people say things that are incorrect, I'm going to challenge it every single time. But that 16 minute loop, people will agree or disagree with you, and people will agree or disagree with her, and it's the same thing. And most people are going to agree with you in this chat because they're watching they're your channel. They like, like you your have channel. Fans or something. You have like you have uh, the following. No, uh, and daily. Agenda at the end wait, of the day. Uh, well, first off, we just speak the facts. And we oh speak facts God. too, though. Like. Of is it what? just there's because no facts. it's your opinion? It's there's no a fact. Okay, um, fucking surveys are are one thing, but it's not really statistical data. You can't like um survey the entire population to get a hundred percent statistical fact. So it's not facts. It's opinions. It's opinion. And general, everyone has their own opinion. You know, you can generalize because most people agree with you on the internet, but there's no statistical fact. It's just us debating a topic, and there's no conclusion to it. There's no right or wrong. We're even, not going to get to a conclusion. Do you know what we're debating right now? Bro, if if men or if if men sexualize women and if we are sexualizing ourselves by posting on social media and if, well, what's the point of contention that you guys are arguing, if arguing? If sexualizing ourselves um, makes us less of a woman or less um, of a person or inferior to you, it doesn't. Wow. That pr that goes to show right there, guys, that they have not been listening whatsoever. They? Oh, my God, whatever. Yeah, oh, you two have not been listening because simply said, we said sexualizing yourself comes with consequences and most men don't want a woman that sexualizes herself on the internet that was the argument okay you're right. we're not going to change the goalpost here he's saying that th let's say there's seven billion men in the world right mm -hmm. out of those seven billion men you posting those pictures maybe two billion of those men are no longer going to be interested in you but who cares you have five million five exactly. billion of those i would men argue a higher percentage of those at men. the end of the I'm day to break it down like 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 six billion of those guys would have a contention day, issue with cares? that i don't know like our value as a person doesn't come from if a man wants to marry us or not, though. you know, see, yeah, she's like, coming to conclude, jumping to conclusions. He's That's not my saying, conclusion. I'm coming to from what I, I never said your personal with. worth. I never said your personal worth is, is going down or whatever. I just simply said men have an issue with this. And that is the argument.
See how you switched it around when I asked you what is the argument and you couldn't even articulate it? You sw- you, you did not state what we were d- debating whatsoever. You're debating multiple things. You guys wanted to talk about autism and birth defects because women are no, having kids No, the biggest point of contention ages. with you guys like, was women what, what are we arguing? You're talking about what are right, we arguing right here, here on this side of the table? On this side of the table, the biggest point of contention <laughs> for you guys was sexualizing yourself. Okay, so this is the argument we're talking about. Yes, on the internet does not come with consequences, which is lack of male respect which then I mean, leads yeah. to not okay. being wiped up Bro, that was the argument it's not 100 percent, but yes that is true like okay so, what's okay, so she's admitting that's, that we're right that's true that a lot of men will like think of think less of us if we post ourselves like yeah mostly nude that's so, all we said what's wrong what, but that doesn't it's not even that mostly doesn't, nude that's literally, literally what we've been clothes. saying the whole show we but that doesn't close on bro but that doesn't define us as a person and doesn't give us worth or nothing. It doesn't make me less that. feminine. Shut that social media. Away. He is kind of saying that. It doesn't make me less ladylike. That some guy is what I'm out saying. there is gonna be like, oh, you know what? She doesn't meet this requirement. She you guys see this? And good post. for them. Ooh. Then exactly. Okay. Conversation even. No, 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 no. It, it just like I said. We had a very, like we we were dialed in on that, and then when I asked you what are we debating, you couldn't even articulate it, and you went into inferences and conclusions that saying, were never stated. We've been debating so a many lot. things that yes. of course I'm going to sit here and be confused like I don't even know what we're debating at this point because we're not debating shit. Well that's a problem. No you can't, you can't debate. Why? You, because and, 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 you're not paying attention. You're listening to I'm respond. Not, because in a, okay. in, a, in a debate it requires not to cut someone off. What? I literally haven't said a thing for the fattest minute. Like what are you even Thank talking, you. About? We're talking about? before. Before. We're talking about before. Yeah. Okay. okay. So this is going back and forth here. It really is. Less stuff in Super Chats and I guess you can't to defend your point because there was no point here to Dude, argue about. Whatever. Yeah, you literally agreed with what we so said earlier. So that made no sense at all. You agreed with what we said earlier, which could have alleviated 40 minutes of airtime, but it's fine. All right, let's go. You guys Joel 40 minutes. Rose came. It was like her opinion. It's everyone's opinion. We're on a like, podcast. That's we why people say, are viewing because we we're debating. They correct? can hear. They can hear so, our side. They can so you hear didn't want side. those forty minutes of airtime. No, 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 that's no. That's got the fifteen thousand. You, you were, you were, you were, you were incorrect in your claims, which is why people are, are here, super chatting yeah, fifty dollars sure. to challenge your views and and you know tell you that you have some asinine concepts of of thought here. It's our opinion, and it's your opinion. Like that's all but I'm that saying. Everyone your has opinion, their own opinion. It doesn't people change the fact that your opinion, opinion is, is incorrect. Asinine. You're not gonna. I just have to say something because it's getting late, and my little puppy. Um, I just Whatever. gave her water, but yeah. Anyway, she needs to go home soon. Okay. okay. Fuck asinine. <laughs> what? What does asinine even mean? Okay, so okay, you don't know what it means. Okay, yeah, okay. Let's move forward. That is hilarious. Joe Rose she used the word back <laughs> on me and didn't know what it meant. Fifty bucks. But what you do is you try to you try to make me look you try to make us look well not us but me look stupid for saying anything. I make you look stupid. Yes, that's your like you want to make us look stupid, so we're just kind of like stuck. Here's here. the thing: I'm not responsible for your unpreparedness <laughs> and what you say. It's not even. You need to take accountability for your own for words. It. You're if just, you you're just attacking come off, and being I'm not attacking. Rude. I'm yes, attacking you your argument. The argument. I'm not attacking you as a person. I am going to say this and make it very clear. Yes, I am are. not responsible for your unpreparedness and what you say and what comes out your mouth. You are responsible for everything that comes out your mouth. And if it comes out and sounds stupid, that's on you, not on me. Is, the fact that you can't articulate your points is not my problem. That's your problem. Take some accountability. <laughs> Like what? <laughs> okay, Joe uh, Rose King, Joe Rose King fifty dollars. These alpha females need to invest in cat and dog food. Uh, I'm telling you, man. Yeah, it is what it is. Um, young and then activist. we got uh, young activists. Why does the girl in black always look back at the girl in the white and giggle? They remind me of high school girls. They can't Maybe understand. It's okay to say your opinion, but don't be disrespectful. Cut people off and pay attention on the podcast. Yeah, facts and you know what is facts. Bogus? Facts. MD Monroe, fifty bucks. Ladies, think of the horror stories of fellow women who've had bad relationships or are alone. What traits or, dis- or decisions have they made that you do that are similar which got them where they are today? What? Okay, we got Charles Levin all the way from South Africa. Your podcast is popping and will be number one in the world soon. Yo, we Thank get you, so much support from different countries, yeah. man. Different Australia, continents. Canada. You guys really fuck with us, man. That's love, man. Yo, yo it, it's it's worth it, man. Uh, Tizek907, Fresh Fit, they cap, we clip. Don't forget Chris and Trey. We show them the way. The way. Thank you. You know the way. Uh, the way. Abdul Magnum. Girl in the orange makes up statistics on the fly. No, she's brought up some valid points, guys. Yeah. Uh, Real Ninga Association. Girl next to Myron act like she a 12-year-old girl. Also, opinions doesn't mean you write. Agreeing to disagree doesn't solve problems. Okay. Fidiars, Dominique, Marcel, at what age would you allow your daughter to post similar bikini pictures? Oh, who, who is that a question to? I think yeah. uh, you, you guys. I uh, feel like... Merch. I really? feel like... 
16. 16? 16 years old. High school, bro. You're in high school. Okay. Post. Mm. I feel like 16 years old, you could post fucking bikini pictures. But that doesn't mean like, like, it just depends on the bikini picture. Hold on, Chris. Yo, what's up? Pull up her Instagram real quick. All right, it sure, depends no on their Cho- maturity. Choose the yellow one I showed you earlier, please. Okay. So I want you to tell me. I right? already know what you're about to say. At Boutine six, LA. I want to. I want to say something. At 16 years old, you want her to post that? Yeah. Boutine LA. She's not 16. That's Boutine. At 16, 16. You want to post I'm that? I'm not 16. Boutine LA sent me those pictures. I mean, the, that bathing suit. At and 16. I post it. 16 years old. You can, bro. 16 years old. You're in high school. Okay, it's so like, I'm going to say this like, real okay. quick because uh, you guys had some serious... No, no, no. Pull that Instagram back up. I'm going to ask the chat. We got almost 16,000 live viewers right now, okay? And that was your girlfriend. Would, would you would you marry a woman that posts pictures like this on the internet, oh, on you Instagram? Better, you guys are... Give us a one in the chat if it's a no. If it's a no, bro. give us a one in the chat if you would marry a woman that posts pictures like this on me? the internet. Would you marry me? <laughs> no, no, no. Notice how I'm not making it about you. I said a woman that posts pictures like this on the and internet. And that's me. So, oh my gosh, look. And that's together. a one. That's a whole bunch <laughs> of ones. Because no. I'm trying to not make this about you. Oh I, I need you to. Goodness. I need you to take yourself out of it. That's ridiculous. Whether it's you or another woman, I'm They're simply saying, would a man marry and or take a woman seriously that posts pictures like this on the internet? Is and there any twos out there? It's a resounding see. no. It's a one all across. Look. Well, uh, I'm gonna say this. It's a resounding no. There, there are some guys that still will do it, but I'm telling you right now, a not majo- the man you want. A majority that you actually might want may not. So it's it's kind of yeah. like you're never gonna find a man. I'm a slut. No, no, no. no. Is we didn't say that. We, we never said that. that. Please don't put words in yeah. our mouth. Oh. So you're saying no one's gonna marry me. You're saying no one's gonna marry me because of that picture that's that a brand, a really known brand, sent me. Hold on. Click hold on. It. Hold on. One second. <laughs> I need you to listen very carefully. <laughs> I'm going to listen, and then after you talk, I'm going to answer. That's okay. what's going to happen. That means you're not listening. I specifically what? said, would you marry a woman that takes pictures like this? This has nothing to do with you. It has nothing to do with your uh, a company sending you brand stuff to post. I'm simply saying in the chat, would you marry and or take a woman seriously that posts pictures like this on the internet? It could have been you. It could have been another girl. The point is the trend. They're all lying. Okay. Mine. They're saying no. They're all lying. Would you Would you pull mine up? I want to see their opinion about mine. Oh, we're not going to make this a, a, a debate. No, because a I, I put pictures in, like I had one the other day. And you you, you can, you can, you can. But it's not like what she was you doing. You can pull your inference from what they just said about her profile. She has a lot of provocative but pictures of, of herself. Was provocative, but they're in a bathing suit sometimes. Okay, well, listen. I, they, if they want to look, they can click down below. Your Instagram okay, is but- there. She has the blue check, guys. Go ahead and shoot your shot there if you want. Um, but um, what's the next time? Oh, okay. Wait, I wanted to say something. Oh, yeah, talk. go ahead. Sure, sure. Go ahead. So you're saying if women post pictures like that, mm-hmm. and I'm the one who posted that picture. Mm-hmm. So you're pretty much saying mm-hmm. that I'm not gonna get wifed up because of these pictures that I'm posting. Yes or no? No. I mean, we said this 20 times now. Okay, I want to hear it 21st time. Go. He's saying the pool of men that are going to consider a person who posts bikini pics is going to decrease. That's, That's an all opinion. he's saying. Okay. That's an opinion. Okay. An overwhelming so- opinion from an overwhelming oh, well, majority. So you agree it's an opinion. Well, they At took this a point, poll, it's... and there was a lot of voters on that side. Yeah, I they're mean... watching Fit and Fresh podcast. And then you said that was lying. Fresh, so, this... hold mean... on, hold on. Like I said before, <laughs> men are men are the ones that marry women. I'm sure they would say. That. Therefore, men men pick who gets married. Men pick. So would it not make sense to ask the target audience, which has the decision the here? The target audience, are which is men. Men. Men decide who gets married. Follow along. So you ask the men. Would you marry? They say no. Now it is a fact. But men that watch bitches, fit, fresh and fit. We still have okay. penises. Who? You guys share similar opinions. Yeah, but we issue. still That's have penises. That's why they're penises. all commenting one. You no, uh, we, know. we have men because from different continents here that would agreeing. Disagree. Grown men that would disagree are not watching. These I mean, they pay 500 bucks to say yes. you're wrong. 
the people that they're uh, fucking look, rich look. and they don't care about what women have to say. Oh, Whatever. so you don't want rich guys? They just want to. Well, I don't they just care, bro. Watch us be like, look, I have my own money. I don't wanna, care. Okay. That's literally the point. Listen, I think the number one thing you can take away from this funny. because you guys stupid. are both beautiful. You have so much potential, and you have so much ahead of yourselves for your life. You're young. The best thing you can take away from this is a blessing, because these guys are only trying to in some way help i don't think that they're in any way trying to make you feel Being bad honest, i don't think they're no listen i don't think they're trying to make you feel bad i don't think they're trying to put you down and i don't feel they're trying to in any way say that you're not marriage thing. worthy i think what they're you saying is if you change your approach of course you're marriage worthy because you're both absolutely beautiful and you have lots of beautiful gifts and talents and whatever but they're trying to suggest that there is a general opinion about how a woman could present herself that would be most of attractive. Maybe to men. our types are not your types. So you think like, maybe like we're just so never going to marry a guy like you guys. So your types are, I don't want are that, women so that, whatever. that um, practice chastity and don't show themselves. They're not saying that. We never said that. So what what we're you? saying is the so likelihood saying? of a man that you actually want wanting you seeing those pictures maybe a little bit lower than average no and, i think the guys that want me don't give a fuck let's just agree no no they want they fuck. want you for no, sex no no, no. they want to fuck no that's the thing that's they the want thing. you for sex just guys fuck. in general you want girls for sex you want girls for sex guys are all the fucking same you guys want but, vagina well, you want marriage right you want to re- eventually you want to to eventually right. i want marriage so but if i know a girl has pictures like that have am i gonna marry her probably not because that's you bro like okay okay here's the thing objectification starts with the woman first if you objectify yourself then men are going to objectify you and they're not going to take you seriously outside of sex okay can we like change the topic are we like ending the podcast soon i mean if you have a problem with the show you can leave at this point no i'm just gonna bring up something else go ahead bring up something else god damn what did you want to see what i'm saying it's just a text i'm not attacking you i'm literally Chris mentioned something earlier okay um, I'm just trying to change the topic so we just like get to something else. That he doesn't think um, men and women can be just friends. Yes. Um, and I disagree with that. I think that um, me personally, I have a lot of platonic relationships with a lot of men from my personal experience. Okay. But like men with like your mindset couldn't have a relationship with a woman a normal platonic relationship with a woman unless, why should like, he exactly that's where the misogynistic like mindset comes Ooh. in Ooh. you feel Ooh. me uh do we and have enough there we go <laughs> we got three out of mark right ah. now all right so um nope oh nope nope Mari, you, you, how uh, are you misogynistic because you think women are honestly misogynistic is just define misogyny Mm. Look at you. No, no, Again. no. No, hold on, hold on. No. With I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not letting this go. If you're going to make a claim like that and call us misogynists on a YouTube channel, you're going to tell us how we're misogynists and you're going to define the word. Because that's a serious accusation. Mm-hmm. Now, define misogyny. It is putting women down and um, claiming that men are literally better than women, which is what you have done repeatedly this whole entire podcast. Incorrect. That is not the definition of misogyny. Then what is? It is the hatred, contempt, and or prejudice against women. Chris, could you bring us on the screen? That's like kind of the same thing, but like in your definition. So in in how do we hate women? You don't hate women. Oh. oh, But you see us as less. You just said (laughs) we're misogynists. Oh, whoa, specific whoa. definitions, whatever you want to say. No, 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 no. It it is specific because oh, if you're gonna right make a claim like that, you're not gonna come on our podcast and call us misogynists and not stand by and prove Dislike. we're misogynists. Prejudice. We never said we dislike women. Where? Okay, you have prejudice against women. No, we don't. How are we prejudiced you against think you? We are not. Let able... her articulate her point. We think you think we are not able to do the same exact things you're able to do. I'm not talking about physically, but like. In society Such as in what? general. What? Um, provide for the family. Okay. Provide for the family. What the I head specifically of a said is that women are not built to provide long-term security and their provisioning why? to a man for a long period but of time. why not? Other than our physical like strength, why not? Are, are we, we not mentally as capable as you? What conclusion are you getting to? You're coming to that conclusion on your own. Oh my God. I'm simply saying that women aren't built to provision and or provide for a man long term. Will you date a man that makes less money than you? 
maybe i don't know we have all done that's it. case specific okay. for how and, long and for how long how long we have all done it until the relationship we is are done young. and then we realize that exactly, exactly. We're that's, fucking... that's the whole point that's the point no woman wants to take care of a man for her whole life who wants to do that but that relationship have you didn't guys, end because of that have you guys dated a girl that has less money than you yes 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 and a and a girl and before you made this podcast before you were successful and girls have dated you and you probably didn't have shit like that's just how it works we all didn't come up with just money out of our that doesn't, ass. That doesn't pro- disprove our point that women don't like dating down socioeconomically. Yeah, some girls, some girls, like, it just, it's not all girls. It's not all Earlier men. in the it's show, I asked man. how much does a man have to make bare minimum for you? Six figures. No, you, you said decide. how much would we that. like. Well, how much would you we like? I said bare minimum. I said bare minimum. How much does he have to make for you to take him seriously? You stated 168,000. Yep. You stated over 100,000. Yep. This proves nowadays 100,000 is Okay. Well, hold on, hold on. No, no, no. You're not going to change your answers now because this is what you said earlier. That's correct? the question Which is you why asked. I wrote it down. That's exactly the I question. I specifically you asked. said, how much does a man have to make bare minimum for you to take him seriously no. dating whatever? And you, you said, said 168 14k a month. 14k a month, 168,000 per year. You said $100,000 per year, bare minimum. Now, if you reverse it around and ask men, what do they want a woman to make? Men don't have the same financial standards on women. McDonald's, CVS, we don't care. Men, really? Historically. Oh, my. Really? Historically. Really? Historically. Really? historically really hold on. Hold on. You're not going to date a girl who no, no, works no. at McDonald's. You no, have McDonald's? No, no, but you wouldn't now, right? I still would. You would not date a girl that Yes, I would. I don't care. He's done it. He's done, I've it. done it before. Yeah, many you've times. done it before. Like, I honestly. Yo, yo, yo. You got to send this, right? You're telling me what men one. Not I'm men, you, what you. Most you. Men, listen, listen. He's you're telling me what I want. <laughs> yeah, I'm I know. telling you comedy. what I want. And, and you're telling I'm, us what we want. No, no, no. no I'm, I'm saying re- I'm most men what, in the I'm chat restating what you said. have money. You said it earlier. Will date a girl that is not successful. Will date a girl that's working at CVS. It doesn't matter to them because guess what? If you're submissive, you're feminine, you're attractive, that's all they care about. Are you okay. young? So going back to what I was saying, prove that we're misogynistic, as you would say. So you couldn't define the word. Now, I'm asking you, what made us uh, misogynistic? Oh. Yeah, Stating we, biological fact we, that women date up. We hate women. Okay. Please tell us. You don't hate women. I never said you hated women, and I don't know the exact fucking encyclopedia definition of misogyny. Okay, so you were incorrect in your assessment calling us a misogynist, calling us misogynist. But you give um, that vibe, and this whole entire podcast is that vibe. And, define and, how, and you've been... uh, tell, tell us how we've been misogynistic. And you've been accused of that multiple times, so obviously it's it's true, you know? It's something that people feel towards this podcast. Feeling and facts are two different things. Prove what that we are factually fact misogynist. What is, what is the definition of a fact to you? Because obviously you don't know. Truth. Obviously you don't do either. Truth. What is truth? Prove that we're misogynist. So where is you made the a claim. threshold that makes it truth versus We opinion? literally had misogyny on the screen. Prove that Look, we hate women. Going... Prove that we hate women. You can't. Can you do it? differentiate since you want to talk about definitions differentiate between truth and opinion since you don't have a com- a, a specific do, threshold do, 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 i'm confused do, 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 do. at this point i'm confused you're not because <laughs> this is Chris. It, because this is a clown Listen, world i'm right done talking point. about this to be honest no 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 no. we are not going to stop talking about this until i you am co- going to stop no 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 about here's the thing out. you're not going to cause massages on our platform and not substantiate your claim how are we misogynistic or you can say i made a mistake and i said the wrong thing you can say, I don't like the way you speak to me, or you are sexist, or whatever you want to claim, but we're not misogynists. We're okay, not. If it makes you sleep at night, you're not misogynistic. You're sexist as hell. Oh, so I want to change say. the word? Okay, cool. Same <laughs> okay. shit, right? Same okay. exact shit. No, uh, not same you're funny. Here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. Reality is sexist. There you go. <laughs> Traditions, yeah, traditions are sexist. Reality is sexist. But you're on. sexist. What is I'm sexist. <laughs> but that's what you're saying, right? <laughs> reality is sexist, and and you and you abide by reality. And I abide by reality. I acknowledge biological differences between men and women, which inherently right. is sexist. Right and wrong are two different. Like reality is amoral. Did I not say that earlier? Reality is amoral. I believe that women should be treated as human beings, just like men, and that they should have all the same rights and privileges as men. But for me to sit here and lie and say men and women are the same does not operate in reality. We're very different. 
Yes, we are different. Okay. I have sat I have sat there through this whole conversation and I have not felt we're better at certain things. We're better at certain things. But we both which is sexist because we're different. Because we're different. Because we're both better in certain things. I want to say something because I have sat here the whole time and I have not felt one time that they were misogynistic. And I feel you both are wonderful people, but because you're young, it's harder for you to hear where he's coming from. What I hear from him is that he's taken a lot of time to consider these perspectives. You're in your 20s. And his pers- 30. No, he's 33 or 2 or 1 or something. But he's taken the time to contemplate this and have m- many, many hundreds of conversations about this and deduced it down to what he feels is a fact. He feels. It's okay. No, because I know. Ev- opinion. But whatever know. it is, opinion. we're on his show, darling. So you have to understand. I understand look, we're on his Adriana, show, but I can but have look, my opinion. He can bottom have line your opinion is, is wrong. Where and you're your coming wrong. from, where you're coming from is feeling very offended continuously. <laughs> it's not offended. It's offending. just because you're <laughs> defending. No, it's just like his opinion, my opinion. The whole That's time you've been is. in defensive. And what I'd like to just suggest is just take a moment, take a deep breath, and just <laughs> receive Usa. the I'm next part of this because we're almost at the end of this show Usa. and just see if there's anything that they can offer through the for the remainder of this time that you could say well actually i really appreciate where he's coming from just see if there's anything that he can offer that would make you feel that way i think we've been talking for three hours and we've just been it's just hard with talking. the tone you're coming at us with <laughs> tone <laughs> it's not the tone it's just it you is. like it's how you tone. say it. you think that you're right, right all the time, time. okay you're sure. right all the time and you want to know that you're right all the time no it's just that you're right all the time it's just that i'm going to here's the thing i'm not attacking you guys i'm attacking your arguments i'm not making ad hominem attacks even though you guys have made ad hominem attacks on me I've strictly attacked your arguments and your claims and asked you to substantiate them to include us being misogynistic, which you weren't even able to do that. So all I'm saying is that if you're going to make claims, be prepared to back it up because I'm going to challenge you on it. No Period. matter what we say, you're going to challenge it. Glad I'm not a political science major. If I say your shirt is Do you mind black, not touching me? If I say your shirt is black, you're like, no. You've touched it's me several dark, times dark at this brown. point. Oh, my God. Like, Come no, on it's dark, dark, brown. Uh, start. Uh, oh, oh. oh. Is Where's it? the love? Where's Just the love? Oh, let's is, is, there, is there an issue with me exerting My boundaries? Issue with oh, yeah. well, I'm not, not going to touch you. I'm not going to touch you. Touch you. <laughs> She's touched me several times, but but oh, oh. Come, come on. on, come on, come on. We're right next to but each hold other. On, hold right on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, but, but again, but again, if it was the other way around, let's hit sexism. It was the other way no, around, and I touched her. Like, oh my god! Not at all. And I, I said, said shit. And I stopped. And I'm a normal person, and I'm not insecure. No, no, no. Let me, let me finish. Insecure. More yeah, shaming like language. Yeah. yeah. Guys, literally, you can't make this up. If I had touched her and she SA. said, "Don't touch me," I would have immediately been like this, whatever. But if I said, "Come on," whatever, that is sexism in itself because there's different treatment for the same thing. And I acknowledge whatever. this. I'm not here to cry about it. I'm not here to cry about it. I just acknowledge you- that. Everything. Reality is sexist. I'm not gonna you're not gonna be held to the same standards that I am, whereas if I had touched you the same way, I simply said, please don't touch me. Oh, come on. Come on. Versus if okay, it was the other way around, you're, you guys you're, like, you're trying to embarrass and, and raise tension. No, in no, the no, room. no. It's no, not, not even embarrassment. It's not she's even embarrassment. Me. It's she's, not even embarrassment. She's but touched me several that's times. One, that one, yeah. And I'm voicing okay, my concern listen, now. Stop touching me, please. Can I say something? Whenever I can can I say something? Whenever whenever I can. What can I say something? No. One that's you're extremely disrespectful. Okay. All right, let's, let's uh, finish this. You're yes. extremely Can I just say finish. something? Because I'm sure, over this ahead. conversation. One, I've touched her. I've touched you, and I apologize. That's just how I talk. I'm a very okay. like ADHD person. Like, I just touched. Yeah, I'm fine. sorry. It's like, fine. I That's apologize. Cool. I don't mean. And then you but... said not to touch you. I won't touch you. Okay, yeah. it's fine. That's it. Yeah. And there's no argument. That's it. Okay, right, I won't cool. touch you. Yeah, but I mean, I just found it very but, funny how but, she had a point of contention with that. So, and that, that's Adriana, just... can you hold your friend accountable by saying, oh, come on? Like, really? Why would it be helpful? Because you shamed them. Oh for what? my god. For, touching, for her going like this? For touching him. If it was the other way around, it would not be just this or come on. Yes, it would. Yeah. I would have not have like, even reacted to that. If I, if to I that. told you, oh, don't touch me, and you said, okay, that's it. That's it. I yeah. mean, like, if you groped me is one thing, but literally going like this, you're just trying to raise tension for no reason because you don't like us, literally. No, <laughs> no. You know what? Um, oh, okay, Adriana, yeah. you, you handled it correctly, <laughs> um, for sure. Like, he told you don't touch him, and then you handled it correctly, understand. But yeah, your but your friend, friend is uh, yeah, another she went, she went whole level. thing. So. Are you right. extremely dismissive and disrespectful to the platform? But it's fine, because this just shows what we've been saying the whole time. I don't respect the platform. You don't? I tell you, I don't. Okay, well, All then right. you know what? You can get up and leave. Yeah, let's, let's boot him out. You can you can get up and leave at this point. All right, let's go. If you're not going to respect so the platform. two of us are 
Okay, yeah. both of you can leave. I'm fine. Bye. That's fine. If both of you want to leave. Ooh. Okay. Oh, <sighs> All right. Come on. I mean, Nate. Thanks. So I guess um, <laughs> there's only two left. Okay. I think well, we should uh, try to wrap it up because I have my little puppy yeah, over there. Yeah. And she yeah. Needs to go home. So we're gonna uh, close this out, guys. Um, in a little bit here. Uh, yeah. So. so let's, let's yeah. Success. Cool. We got RDX Bunny, two hundred bucks. You can do whatever you want. What you can do is expect not. No consequences for your action. You can't expect to not get robbed if you're walking down a bad neighborhood waving a hundred dollar bill over your head. That's very true. Um, Chris, we we got any more? It's behind the scenes, guys, so you can see for the vlog. But yeah, um, Chris, can you do the next one? If you don't mind. Oh sure, I'm Because uh, they can handle that. Um, we got uh PCN fifty bucks. Hey Chris, I'm begging you to please screen your guests before bringing them on. We need to have ladies on who add to the convo. These two ladies on the left are, are an abomination. <laughs> what the hell, bro? Fam, how you want me to screen them? Like, write an essay about, you know, before they come on the platform? Yeah, how, like, how, how do you know that, bro? Come on. It's like, okay. We got uh, Chris Black, 50 bucks. The two on Myron's side have a critical case of pretty girl privilege. You have an opportunity tonight to soak up this knowledge and apply it to your life. If religions, if religions ever became priority for you, hope you both figure it out before you hit the wall. There you go. Okay. Um, Randy Poole, 65 bucks. Thank you, brother. Appreciate that, brother. And uh, Joshua Kimber, 51 bucks. The problem is that Myron is not arguing against women's wants and needs, but they're arguing with what he's saying men want. That's the problem. Feminism at its finest. Hustler, 100 bucks, uh, 99 bucks. The two females next to Myron haven't been in a real relationship because no man would tolerate that. They're only good for one night stands, nothing past the night. Now we know why white t-shirt chick got dumped. Ooh. All right, ouch. A super chat, 50 bucks. Two girls next to Myron, you know nothing about stats. Look at the definition of a straw man and enroll in community college. The truth is, isn't relative. Myron is showing you with science and facts. You make yourself look stupid. All right. Lord underscore ill. 50 bucks. Opinions of you are judgment formed uh, about something. Not necessarily based on a fact or knowledge. Facts is, is uh, information used as evidence or as part of a report or news article. Abdul Magnum. 50 bucks. Number one. She's definitely a thought. Very clear. <laughs> Versi. 50 bucks. One. Uh, this is earlier regarding the uh, question regarding um, Instagram. My... Uh, 16k is a record, guys. We're live right now. 16k, Cr fucking crazy. Thank you guys for support. Like the video, sub the channel. Uh, my boss self made 100 bucks. They're gonna continue to make this argument mainly because of their age. Being young and at the peak of their prettiest, what most men want doesn't matter. But when them looks fade, get older, and their sexual market value drops, they will be doing all it takes. There you go. Isaiah Wilson, 50 bucks. The messed up part about about that. No disrespect to you, gentlemen. The average man, not just a male with a stable income. Would impregnate those type of women. Me below 20k due to my mistakes would never marry a woman like this. I don't care if I'm offended if, if I offered money. Okay. All right. Uh and, and I'm back. Had to take out the trash again, guys. Uh but <laughs> Sela Rao, hundred a thousand Indian rupees. I think imps are going are doing a, a great disservice to women by reinforcing what they want to hear in hopes of getting laid. I was having a convo on Clubhouse with a bunch of imps, and as soon as the girls left the convo, they turned from imps. To pimps. Right. <laughs> Happens all the time, man. And then uh, Seahawk, uh, $100, orange swimsuit, and lady next to fresh. Y'all made the show amazing. Apparently, Babby B was the least of our worries. I wish you all success. So, um, ladies, right. where can the people find you? I'm, I'm on YouTube, actually. I have a channel on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and everywhere. It's my name, Dashima. All my channels are verified. Cool. D-A-S-H-A-M-A. And awesome. uh, we'd be happy to have you back to have a, a, a honest conversation about this without distractions. You know, um, obviously that was very difficult to deal with. Yo. But um, I think it's very important that men see uh, that. Unfortunately, a lot of women subscribe to this rhetoric that these women were talking about where, yeah. you know. And you were very cor courteous and definitely. Uh, you know and we saying? can have our disagreements to be yeah. OK. Yeah. Can you pull her Instagram real quick, man? Because she was awesome. Man, yeah. yeah, show, yeah man. Thank you. Chris, can you pull her Instagram real quick? So guys, go go support her as well. Um, she's a, she was a great guest. And then where can they find you? Just Instagram, or you um, can follow my my YouTube. Actually, I, that's where I would love to have people follow me. On yeah, it, it's it's on the bottom cool. below. Uh, yeah, all, all her links are below, guys. Uh, yeah. you know, subscribe uh, to her YouTube channel. Check around. We'll have her back on. Uh, to have an honest conversation about this without yeah. distractions and, you know, uh, immature banter. Quite frankly, and name calling. So, uh, also, um, guys, Patreon. Yeah, patreoncom slash You guys want to see the Frank Castle? All behind the scenes. You're gonna see behind the scenes with the studio because I cannot record that. 
Definitely Chris, uh, Trey got that on camera. That was wild. Yo, guys, do us a favor, by the way. Those two girls that were on the show, don't give them attention. Like, we're going to take their names out of the description box because no free cloud over here. Uh, they disrespected the platform. It is what it is. And uh, don't go ahead and give them attention, guys. Don't send them annoying messages. Don't insult them. Whatever it is, just bang. They're here, obviously, to cloud chase. It is what it is. We don't mind. <laughs> but, uh, you know, because we were able to make a hilarious show out of it. Yeah. But... Don't give them attention and reinforce the bad behavior, guys. You guys don't you know? do it. And I already don't, know. Don't do it. I already know. Yes. Yeah, the chat, they're going to go uh, uh, trick on them and don't do it. Cash out them. Bro, uh, it's what it is, man. Do what you got to do. But if you're going to do that, support us as well. There you yeah, go. Yeah, don't. Yeah, guys, don't. Remember, this, this ridiculous behavior is because it's positively reinforced with men showering them with attention. No oxygen to annoying women like that that don't dis that disrespect you uh, disrespect the platform quite frankly like and that's not all women it's just that those two don't uh how do i say this don't um validate their poor behavior guys it's so, unfortunate that we can have like a real discussion it was mostly like what you were saying we were like on a hamster wheel like the same yeah things. i felt like i called it chinese water torture but because yeah. it was, it was like, and, and, and I, I'm, I'm sorry that you guys had to had to had to had to grit your teeth through that but um, the thing is, is that on this podcast, we, we, uh, we try to let, you know, we have a, an honest voice for men. You know, a lot of guys can't express these thoughts. And, uh, the truth is, is that a lot of women subscribe to this ideology and we gotta, we gotta show the guys, Hey, this is what your potential future girlfriend and or wife thinks. You know what I'm saying? They undermine yeah. the male, uh, the male struggle. They don't necessarily care and or respect your opinions. And you need to protect yourself and act accordingly and understand this is the new world that we live in. They want you to be a traditional man while absolving themselves of traditional responsibilities, which is where this debate started with in the first place. We started with five, we ended with two. Yep, we ended with two. <laughs> so, uh, guys, uh, give the ladies on the panel uh, a follow, follow, support them. And, What's your uh, Instagram yeah. one, more, one more time? Amanda I. Hernandez. Cool. Cool. And All it's right. in the description. And her YouTube channels and her Instagram is also down there in the description. Follow her, guys. To give her, And we'll bring, bring you guys back to have... Yeah. Uh, a good conversation without distractions of yeah. uh, people falling asleep or uh, <laughs> inter constant interruption. Uh, uh, Chung Lee. Yeah. Oh, uh, one of the things I just mentioned on my channel, I, um, my mo some of my most popular videos are about Tantra. And I don't know if you guys have ever done a segment about that, but we could do a talk about that, which is kind of the what like the conscious sensuality, sexuality, relationship topic of spirituality. I'll research it so I come to the discussion Look into informed. It. Yeah. Look into Unlike it. other people that were unprepared. <laughs> <laughs> Shots fired. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so, guys, uh, get on Patreon, man. Support us. Follow us on, on Instagram as well. Uh, Unplug 3Ts, th th our Fresh Prince CEO, Trade Talk Sports. Anderson yeah, Pogson. follow the gang, guys. And as you guys can see, we're losing hair here. So thank you guys for the support and the outpouring of Super Chats. Thank you so much. We'll catch you guys tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow is Wednesday, it's, so we're going to talk about dating, guys. So go yep. ahead and uh, we'll do a, a community post. Let us know what you guys want us to cover tomorrow, yep. 7 p.m. We'll cover uh, dating. And, uh, guys, thank you so much. Peace. Peace.